I'm waiting for the punchline. It's not a joke. Why would it be a joke? You're serious, aren't you? You're basically telling me our content sucks. Mm-hmm. And why should we believe you? Why should me and the viewers believe you, Ward? I've got nothing to lose, Joey. Nothing to lose at all. Nothing can hurt me anymore. My life is funnier than this tragic podcast. Ooh. Come on, mate. That, that's not in the script. You, you've gone off script now. Just bring it back. Come on. So let me... Harry, let me get straight. Genuinely. You think our videos getting little to no views is funny? Yes, Joe, I do. I think it's absolutely fucking hilarious. Comedy is subjective, Joey, and I'm not having it from you anymore. That's what they say, isn't it? Mm. The viewers decide what's funny and what's not, not you and none of the big cats up there. So Harry, are you just saying, mate, Bear in mind you're dressed as a fucking clown. Yes. That we're just running out of ideas for content and we're just, you know, we've fallen off the wagon a bit because now we're just imitating popular movies that were slightly relevant. Hey? Come on, Joey. Do I look like the type of clown that's going to run out of ideas? Yes. Abs absolutely, mate. Genuinely, mate. You've got fuck all ideas. I and you're turning this on me. No, no. I turned up today in Joker outfit ready to do a skit. This was a great idea. It's not all about just turning up in fucking makeup ward. Yes, You've gone off script now and you're just using it as a character assassination. No, absolutely not. Our most common vi commented video is Diane Abbott getting slagged off. I say we need to get Diane on the show. What, slag her off? Yeah, in front of all the viewers. In front of everyone. I think they'd enjoy it. We're all out there looking for a right shoe. I don't know where it is. Let's see if she has anything to say about it. God fucking damn it, Harry. You made me break character like Jesus Christ. But this is a character assassination. Assassination. Look at you, you're laughing now. You're not even taking the fucking thing seriously. Is this all just a joke to you? In all honesty, is this just a joke to you? Oh, you've got it all wrong. You're awful to me, Joey. You are goddamn awful. You can take the piss out of me all you like for an hour long on a podcast with an extra 20 minutes here or there. But you come on and you bring all your buddy boy like Jason on. You get up my dad and you're always trying to take the piss. You get all the boys. Where's the piss take, Joe, on you? Right, Harry, I think we've all heard enough of your jokes, mate. I'm off, genuinely. It's a fucking waste of time. How about another joke, Joe? Harry, I think we've all had enough of your jokes. I've got one more for you. I'm not going to listen to it. What happens when you get a fed up ward with a fucking co-host that wrote in every goddamn episode? What? What I deserve? You get what you fucking deserve, correct? Oh, Harry, you fucking weird twat, I'm off. No, come here, you fat bitch! I'm off! Fucking old ward! You're losing great content here. It's recording. All right, are we started. It's already recorded. Okay, let's go. Um, which episode are we on? Uh, it's episode uh, eight. Hey, I'm on the other side in here. Yeah, it flips. All oh, right. Okay. Oh, yes. uh, welcome to episode eight. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We have today Harry Ward's dad. Hello. 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 Thanks for coming, Thank Richard. You. Yeah, you're welcome. It's Richard nice. Ward. That's me, yeah. Nice to see you, see you nice. Um, <laughs> Rich is here today, and not only is he flexing on his son in a nice tight top and making Harry look like he has a vitamin deficiency, <laughs> he has brought along, tell yeah. us all about it, what is this? Wizard's Brew. Wizard's Brew. Yeah, it's a wicked, wicked butterscotch drink. Fantastic. Are we all going to try some? We're going to take a sample of that, yeah? yeah. First off the production line. You're joking. No. So <laughs> this is the, you're the first people to try it. Oh, this, I'm me. excited, I'm excited. Me, of course. So how That's much great. how much are we getting paid to sponsor this video, Richard? Oh, huge amount. Huge amounts. Three okay. drinks for all. I'm so glad we didn't decide, um, didn't sign a contract beforehand. <laughs> yeah, it would have had us over. Alright, do you want to know what one of them's for uh, I know, just, just, just promo? We're just keeping that, we're just keeping that. Also, before we start, because Richard's taking time out of his busy schedule to come and see us, thank you very much again, Richard. Um, where can we get these lovely drinks before we try them because if it all goes to, to shit and yeah. we try them and they're, they're mm. horrible we want yeah. people to start placing well you get them in our warehouses we wouldn't be able to sell them yeah we, <laughs> very we're true absolutely full of uh wizards brew in the warehouse if you don't find them. so so we will and how will they be launched like where they're going to be in shops aren't they yeah, yeah. you can Across buy them from uh lucky dip make them 
Awesome, awesome. Look at um, your LTD, yeah? Yeah, yeah, and you'll be able to buy them in independent shops. You'll be able to buy them in probably places like uh, Hamleys and some of the Harry Potter places. Um, Let's go. Like the Wizards, Wizards shops and places like that. So plenty of places to buy them, yeah. Tourist um, places. London. Basically, sure. what we're getting to, we have no resellers. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> right, do you, want, do you want to do the olives, Richard? But it's not Lawrence, I'm excited. It's I love the branding. I love the branding. I'll, I'll, you sample it first. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. I, think, I don't think it's fair if I sample it because I may be slightly biased. Okay, we'll go first then, you all right? So, this, is, this product this. is called Wizard's Brew. Yeah. And it's um, from oh, uh, Harry's great. dad's oh, new. Like is it, is, like, it, is, is it a new company or is it part of the There is a new company, Great. yeah. We're gonna awesome. go we're gonna go launching uh various it like caramel. drinks. It is, it's a caramel flavour, isn't it? It's a butterscotch. Let's flavor. go. Um lovely colour. Mm, really nice yeah. colour. Yeah, check set. that and very clear. Look you at that. You could get away with having that as a bit right, of brandy, couldn't you? Cheers. It's a bit of scotch. Yeah, yeah. A bit of scotch brandy. In Not fact, if you, if you dropped a bit of something in there. That is so nice. Do you know what? Completely honest opinion, that is gorgeous. And I tell you what it'd be lovely with, and it probably wouldn't work, but it almost could be a really nice milkshake flavour that. Yeah, it could. Cause cause it's you know what I mean? Like, like, yeah, it's like it's non-alcoholic. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah, non-alcoholic, really don't worry. So, but you could add a bit of alcohol well, and it would taste really nice. It would, not you? What could you put? It's that's like, actually genuinely that's like gorgeous. Like amaretto, isn't it? That is really nice. Yeah, you could have a bit of amaretto yeah. with that, couldn't you? It'd be very nice. I don't know. It honestly, it honestly does taste like a, like that, a caramel milkshake. But in yeah. like a liquid form. Yeah. That's mm. gorgeous. Yeah. Mm. Well, if it wasn't liquid form, you couldn't get it in the bottle. I drank it all. No cap. Do you want some more? Yeah, I'll have a little bit more. It's actually genuinely lovely. This sounds fantastic. You know when you pour it here, mm. you'll, you'll listen to that later and you'll think, I'm glad you did that. So, um, <laughs> I acted like I did. Um, so, it's, it's change around the seating arrangements today. Um, Why did we change around the seating arrangements, Richard? I'm deaf, but I did remember. <laughs> just stop right there. Which ear it was, so it was quite useful. Yeah, he had so basically we were like, hey, Richard, Tower is like Richard's deaf in, in, in his in ear. In one ear, one ear, completely deaf. You yeah. can work it out yeah. initially, could you? We had to both speak into each ear, whisper. Well, it's because you're, my good ear compensates for the other one. Yeah. So I actually, when I'm listening to things, I can't tell where the sound's coming from. Dare, daredevil. That's true. That's true. So if, I, if I'm in a room yeah. and somebody calls my name and says they're over there, now, yeah, depending no which way I'm sat, then I might think they're over there. If my left ear yeah. is sort of <laughs> more that way, then I might do a full turn that way instead of where the, the person is. Sometimes it's you just got to do 180. Like, like, like Zoom, yeah, because you're very lucky. You've so you got, can only turn left. You've got stereo yeah. ears, you've got, um, you know. Why, why did you lose these? Didn't tunnel you? hearing. Didn't you've got? It's not tunnel hearing. Yeah, tunnel hearing. See, tunnel hearing. <laughs> That's what you've got. Didn't, didn't, why, why did you, how did you lose them? Didn't, well, tell them the story behind how. I want to know two stories. Sorry, there are two stories. I want to know. Yeah, I know what two stories. Now, because Richard was also <laughs> slightly disappointed, I feel, that he had to sit there because this bicep's popping. Yeah. I've also, yeah, I don't know if this is the same thing, but this one isn't popping. Right, let's, gonna, let's get two shots of the bicep. Two stories, right? I wanted, what do we want to know first about right, why you've only got one ear and why yeah. you've only got one? I haven't got one ear, it's got one hearing. Yeah, but you could cut that off and it would do no, do no harm. No, that's my good ear. Thank God. Thank God. Why would I want to cut my good ear off? No, you want to cut your bad ear. <laughs> no, he doesn't want to cut his good one. Is he? No, he, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying that like your right ear is pointless, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah. Well, apart from it holds my glasses on. So how did it happen? So, yeah, so, uh, I? yeah, you would. That'd be, that'd be you look quite good with one of them. Yeah, Do you want to try these on? Yeah, Speaking sure. of one, <laughs> <Clean them. laughs> I don't clean oh, them. Oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> Just all, oh, just, dan just dandruff, <laughs> just like oh, you tipping onto. Yeah. <laughs> so bad, isn't it? Yeah, he's got a good shot. Do you actually need them? No. no. I just wear them because they hide my face. Fashion, quite fashionable. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. Yeah, go on. I want to hear about the air. No pun intended. Tell them the original. Tell the <laughs> tell them the original story about how you thought you lost your hearing. Right. The original story was I was in France with my brother and cousin, John and Damon, and we were talking to these girls, very attractive French girls. Fifteen. Not in French. Yeah, they were about fifteen. <laughs> but then again, so were we. So were we. So <laughs> we were like recently. <laughs> I thought it was like a couple of years back. I was like, we're gonna have to shut that. <laughs> <laughs> you go on, sir. 
<laughs> well, I was probably fit. no, I probably was fourteen. Or let's 15. hope so. Let's hope so. so. I think they were considerably old. No, I think they were about eighteen. Really? Thank God. Yeah. Let's go. So yeah, I was talking to this uh, very attractive French girl as we were walking through the woods, as you do, blossom in the trees and all that. Did you find thing. them in the woods? The girls. Yeah. yeah. Nymphos in the woods. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> and um, yeah, and then John was getting a bit upset because I think I was getting the edge. Yeah, the attention. Sort of, Why would he not yeah, be? The attraction. You know, she was. Yeah. French was a little bit more dribbly, you know, so... She was dribbling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then she was, a, she was a red too. She was a red Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you found her in the woods. She was dribbling. <laughs> she was dribbling. <laughs> well, I thought I did it again when I was 55. Yeah, um, yeah, she was reacted to my English... Um, Musk. Yeah. An accent. <laughs> yeah, brute at the time. Yeah, was, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And John... He called me and he put a straw next to my ear and he said, hey Rich, and as I turned, <laughs> no. the straw went straight down my ear and clattered my eardrum and it was like thunder in your head, <laughs> like somebody playing the kettle drum in your head. That's uh, so shit. And then it bled <laughs> and I got a bleeding ear. As if someone's brother was that yeah. fucking yeah. jealous. Yeah. 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 That's that it. was your jersey. Yeah. That was literal that was jersey. In you know, that's That's uh, John Savage. You're joking. We, we did that's a segment on John yeah, Savage. Yeah, did a Savage yeah. segment. Yeah. He is a Savage. He's yeah. savage. So yeah. that's why... He, so he, so he, John he's, Savage part two in the highlight. Yeah. Yeah. Lucy dies, isn't he? Yeah, he is, yeah. Mm. yeah we'll, we'll, make, we'll make something of, uh, mm. of John. So, John Savage. So John, John took a straw down your and it blew your eardrum up. Yeah. Can you tell us about the aftermath? What did the girls say? What did John say? What did you say? She went, mm, like that. And ran, or stayed, or? Yeah, it wasn't like everything. <laughs> <laughs> Just really intensified. Yeah. No, she was, uh, she took me cool. She said, I've had boyfriends with one ear before. Not really. How not many boy, Richard, I'm sorry friends. to interrupt. How many boyfriends would you have to have yeah, to, to have, have one boyfriends with one ear? Also at the age of 15. This girl, I don't understand the question. Say it again. <laughs> yeah, but no, what he's, what he's saying is that surely to have a boyfriend with one ear, it's not going to be your first one, is it? I'm saying, like, you've got to think about it. How well, rare is it for someone to have one deaf, ear? What about people in these deaf societies and football teams and things like that? Why, do, why would football teams have anything to do with deaf societies? Well, it's all about the, 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 the bell and the ball. Against, no, that's not deaf, deaf that's blind, sorry. We, every, when we were playing football for Farnsfield, there was yeah. a there was a... A football team that was all deaf, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> so they go to they are and the you groups, aren't they? All deaf people go together because you only have other people you know, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what <do you> mean, <laughs> bro? There's no, there's no point in me going out with you and saying, "All right, I'll do, I do sign language," and you've had a conversation with somebody for half an hour, and then you realise. About. You what you were saying. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I get what you're saying. So, so, you're so saying deaf yeah. people come in packs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they hunt in packs. It's together. quite possible that. But because but you're already she wouldn't have been there, isn't it? Because she wasn't deaf. No, no, but, but because, been because, because yeah. you're half deaf, mm. you're saying that you're easily transferable between deaf Would, groups and non-deaf. I can, what, what I can mix with either. You, <laughs> yeah, oh, right, <laughs> so you can just. It's no skin off your back to do that. You can quite easily find your calling in a deaf group mm. or just oh, blend yeah, in just with people with, with normal, with normal just hearing. Two, two ears. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yes. Yeah. No, I think that's great. No, I, I, I'm I'm really, that's a really admirable trait yeah. Yeah. that Richard can not do. Not many that. people can do, do that. No, they can't. Do you remember when you uh, came back from the doctors once with a hearing aid? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. I just didn't like it. Hearing aids, though, are associated. You know, to, if, I mean, it is a true fact. When you've got a NHS hearing aid, people think. It might be a bit dumb or something. Well, yeah. Just the colour of it. Yeah. yeah. And the thing, you know, it doesn't. You know, if people think you're a bit loony or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, though. It doesn't. It feels like, you know, and it makes people feel uh, uncomfortable. And I yeah. did, and I thought, I looked at myself and thought. Oh, it made you a bit insecure. Yeah, you were like, yeah, yeah. 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 Morrissey actually made them snazzy. quite popular. It didn't look great on you, did it? Because it was skin colour. 
Yeah, and it's a very odd sound as well. Yeah. I didn't like the sound. Oh, does it transfer the sound when it goes? So what it yeah, does yeah. is it's yeah. like having a little speaker in okay. your ear, okay. but that doesn't actually help. Hello, if hello. Yeah, so it does, but it doesn't actually help if you if you're deaf. Right, okay, but it's just people force it. Because I think my I think my grand my granddad actually has one. Yeah, yeah. So, so he has one, but he didn't used to, and he hated. You know, when he first got it, he was yeah, like, yeah. I feel because it it really he felt like it really aged him. Yeah, same with me. Because he was yeah. like, yeah. yeah, and you're trying to tune into it. It's not easy, but. I think they've made him cooler since then. They yeah. have. They're, they're, they're Did Morrissey more do something funky, with it? They made it like wore one on his album. Yeah, it made it quite iconic in yeah. terms of like. But no, that is pretty interesting. Alcoholic. <laughs> iconic. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah. Sorry, sorry to skip on, but because we've got the momentum oh. of Richard telling stories, I want to know about the arm as well. Can you talk about oh, your arm? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. forgot. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you had it a bit then, but. No, there's, you've the got arm. lots of di- lot of displays. That arm. <laughs> Yeah. This arm, not this arm. Flex both arms, because for a thumbnail as well. Yeah. Flex both arms. Let's go. Okay. Um, so, yeah. my arm. Mm-hmm. We went, I was at the Minster, and we went, Dad's playing kids. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to go. A rugby. A rugby, that was it. It's a rugby, no, that was yeah, it. But yeah, but you yeah. weren't playing kids. No, we no, no, weren't playing it kids. It was we a father's game. Don't no, change the story, huh? No. <laughs> played kids. Yeah. No. It was a, yeah. So, so you break your own playing kids. With my titties. Dad's against uh, <laughs> uh, six, form, six formers, actually. I think it was six formers. Well, why not? No, they were big. Yeah, but I think it was dad's. They're big kids, Rich. Dads. Kids are growing yeah, they astronomically. They were, they were definitely like old, well, they're old boys, I think. Old boys. And I got It in. was the old Minster team, wasn't it? Was it versus or the alumni? Random yeah. dads. Yeah. Just yeah. random yeah. men. I was a random dad. But you used wow. to play for the Minster. I did. I was in the Minster first 15. Right, so why weren't you cool. on the team? Because I'd left. I was already a dad. I know, I but everyone else was an alumni. I wasn't allowed to hang around school when I got to 30. <laughs> no, no. No, no, but <laughs> you were an alumni. That was the point. Was it what? Uh, alumni. Alumni Just, like postgraduate of oh, the yeah. like, you, you, you know. used to go to the Minster and you're yes. on the team. So the point was it was people who used to go to the Minster and were on yeah. the rugby team against just the other dads. Yeah. But you went on the other dads team despite being part of the Minster. That's <laughs> I remember point. it that way. Was he filling spaces or I just, did you just, I just not remember the call or No, you didn't yeah. want to play. I remember yeah. I remember thinking no, I remember thinking dad. I've not played rugby for years. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. these lads look a bit sharp, to be honest with you. So I don't really want to go and everybody was going, Oh go and play, why don't you have a game? Why don't you yeah. game? Go on, Richard. <laughs> and I had my shorts on and uh, <laughs> I thought, okay, I'll go on, reluctantly. And the very first uh, point of contact, I ripped my arm open. <laughs> lad, lad came down, and I put my arm out to tackle him, and it sprung <laughs> the forearm there, sorry, sprung the forearm, and the bicep detached from the bone there, it's mm. anchor, and shot up there, yeah. And I looked at it, and I thought, what the hell is that doing? The bicep, as it is. Bundled into a ball at the top, yeah. I thought that's not right, is it? No, it's not. No, I kept looking at it. Did you keep? Did you play through it? Did you come on? I did actually. I carried on. (laughs) I carried on, and I remember also because I'd not played for ages. I wrenched my stomach muscles as well because I remember the ball dropped low, and I very quickly did that. Yeah, (laughs) as you do when the balls are. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) just stomach it down. Yeah, I tried to scoop it up from a uh, a knock on. Where you go? And and my stomach. Where's rugby? I'm oh, sorry, it's not quite with the Sorry, we didn't get to that. No, I, don't, I don't think we covered that, yeah. No, it was first 15, some, some people might have worked it out, but um, yeah, so my stomach went, and then I went to A&E, and the doctor literally went, you popped your bicep, is your other arm all right? I went, yeah. He went, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> just start popping, just flexing on the doctor. <laughs> just flexing the trap. Yeah, and he said, uh, Get out. he says nothing. He, he went again. There's, there's, more, out, there's but... more serious cases. That kid's got a Veruca. <laughs> and and uh, yeah, he didn't do anything. And I, and I rang up to go to the specialist because I thought, no, that's not right. I want my bicep back. It's going to look ridiculous. He's just like, I want my It's going to look ridiculous in the blood was open. Yeah, yeah. of know. course. Um, the blood of open is yeah. just like a tournament where people flex. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the um, 
So you couldn't get a dog, they were all on holidays, it was summer holidays, so you couldn't get a, um, anybody in for a consultation to have a look at it, oh, I left it. And I thought, well, I can still move it, which you can look. That's incredible, <laughs> you the amount of movement you can do. So biceps actually, come to think of it, are pretty useless. Yeah. Mm, no, I, I, I wouldn't you say they're useless, but I have to say, mm, yeah. you'd think losing half your biceps, <laughs> you'd lose your strength completely. Or your confidence. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah go on. that's why I tend to wear a long sleeve t shirt on this side. I think he looks fine. Do you know what? No one would have noticed if we didn't call it out. No, I don't, I don't think so. Unless I did that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a second deltoid. But the interesting thing is. That's an alien just coming up. <laughs> the interesting thing is, there's very little strength in that other bicep. So you've got your head bicep, which is that one, mm. and then you've got your long bicep. But there's very little strength in it. There's a little edge, mm. but that arm is not much weaker than this arm. No, I can imagine. Well, but you can't actually really but, max. Yeah, that's my last chance for popping now. Of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. You still got your chart though. You still got them. Like, oh, yeah, you can get back. If you play darts, if it goes again, would you back, yeah. just not be able to lift your hand up? Hmm. If the other one goes, yeah, then yeah, see ya. I mean, see it's, ya. It's held in <laughs> pretending you just you go. Oh, You'd only be able to play darts. Are you wouldn't be able to pick the dart up. You'd have to do that. Yeah. You'd be able to do that. Yeah. With your tricep, but you wouldn't be able to pull it up with you. No. So, so you I get it. That's interesting. So you've had a few. Uh, you've had a few knocks. But I tell you what hasn't been a knock. We did a segment um, previously. <clears throat> uh, episode five. We talked about your. I don't know if you want to go into this. You let me know. How was the career going? The acting career. Not very well at the moment. <laughs> I I think think we were gassing you up so hard in that episode. Yeah, right. I think you got to respond to the adverts a bit quicker. I did ask so, somebody did ask me to play a part in something. Yeah. For context, what what how what was your delay in reply time? What was the part? Well, good three, how did four this happen? <laughs> yeah, when he said, "Can you come down at half past seven on Friday, Rich?" And I picked it up about three months later. Right. <laughs> on the on a Friday or just did you think it was that Friday or were you aware you'd miss your opportunity? Yeah, I missed the opportunity. So how did that come about? I uh, put myself on very briefly onto something called backstage, is it? Couldn't tell you, Rich, I haven't done yeah. it myself. Yeah. So I put it on there and what happens is if you subscribe, I think that was a bit off putting quite cost about eighty quid something like that to subscribe. A one off subscription. Year. You pay up front for the year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I think you can. Pay. Shout out backstage sponsors. And they send you all the, and they they send you emails of all the um, things that people are doing. Mm -hmm. uh, so short films. Have you responded to film. any more? No, because they don't always fit in. They want. There was one the other night. I thought a horror film, and yeah. then it would. They were looking for virgins, uh, female virgins in a horror film. But why would you get that? Like, why would they it came through, I don't know. They don't know who they're sending the things to. Do they? Yeah. yeah. They must do, yeah, because you must have no, to you get direct, like you get mail. direct messages. Yeah. Like if they and if they look oh, at okay, your profile. Oh, you're just getting broad Yeah, but I'm just getting sort of... Yeah, broadcast messages. messages. Why were looking yeah. for virgins? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, up, so aren't we all? <laughs> <laughs> but you tick that box. Yeah, yeah. To receive yeah. that, obviously, yeah. is like an algorithm. Um, so... I got the virgin bit. Yes, I've got three kids. Yeah, but you... They don't know that. How how is it going in terms of are you is it something you're going to follow up? Is it a passion that you will pursue? I wouldn't mind doing it. I think you'd dabble. be good. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having a little dabble at certain things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What would be your ideal role? I think I'd have to be a bit sort of comedy role. Not have to be or just no, something you gravitate to. I could do a serious yeah. role. Do a yeah. can you do an impression? Could What's your best? Best of, well, of somebody. Just. You sometimes have to get even under right mode. Uh, okay, right. Well, so, 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 you, you can't watch. You can't watch. What are you doing? What were you doing the other week? You were doing. Uh, you're going to do Anthony Hopkins on the. the no, I'm not going to do that. I was going to do Al Pacino. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> okay. he said, just for context, you said you'd do better than me. Which you probably can. You have to remind yourself of his voice, which is quite serious. What? You're going to do the. Cut, the, the, the He's, he wants to do Al Pacino. He's like, we'll battle. <laughs> no, wait a minute. I have to get it right. So no, that's oh, Al Pacino, right? In half of his face went, went limp. Yeah, but what, 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 like, what are you doing? I was going to do an impression of Al Pacino. But yeah, but I might got... have lost it now. Yeah, but yeah, but on what? <laughs> no, no, just Al Pacino. You said you did a really good Godfather. Al Pacino. That's that's Al Pacino. Right, that's, no, that's, no, that's, that's not Al Pacino. Yeah, Sorry, that's, that's not Al Pacino. That's uh, Marlon Brando, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you said Marlon Brando. So Let me have a go. Let me have a go. <clears throat> 
Might work, might not. Okay, right, go. You come to me. You see these things. <laughs> What's the line? Jumping the line. It's like falling round it's been winded. You ask, <laughs> me, you ask me for forgiveness, but I can't remember how he talks. Right, <laughs> but then that's like, for money. For money. You ask me for money. Yeah, I don't. You see? <laughs> a bit Russian Sometimes, towards him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. It's hard though, isn't it? Well, I haven't heard him for ages. I haven't heard the uh, voice, so I might need to just put it... To be fair, you had the starting for it, and I'll tell you something, Rich. Mm. When I was doing it, you think it's easy, you think it's easy, and when I was doing it, do you know what I turned into when I, when I was listening back? Like a f feudal Japanese overlord. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, like it yeah. went, and I was like, yeah. I can't bring this back. Yeah. Because it's, yeah. it's so hard yeah. to do. I'm not acting <laughs> like I'm, I've got chops. If there were any actor... <clears throat> which one would you say you're most alive involved? or dead? Alive or dead? Which one would you say? Oh, probably a dead one. <laughs> yeah, but if there were any actor, is it dead stage presence or? No, I just mean which I'm which one there. suits the uh, the roles that you would like the most. I I suppose it's something like Michael Palin, something like that. I'm actually I'm not aware of him. Monty mm -hmm. Python. Yeah. Oh, Monty Python. Yeah. He's you a good do? actor though, as well. He is a good actor. Yeah. Yeah. You do yeah. it. He's not. He's not doing crazy. I don't, yeah, so. you do have to get into the frame of mind sometimes and sort of move. Mm. I tell you, he's very good. I didn't like him to start with. Uh, Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. Okay. Jim Carrey gets. I didn't like. He was a bit. He's a bit wacky and offbeat, isn't he? And, and things like that. But that that zone that he gets into to perform that ad lib mm. is 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 really a tricky place to get into. Oh yeah. To be, he's not. He's not doing that from script. No. You know, no. he's doing that. That's all gone into his brain. And you, there is like a higher place that you can get into. And I sometimes can do it. <laughs> I sometimes can do it, but not always. I know but you really have to be confident in, in where, you, where you're going and then let, let yourself go. go in it you takes a while coach. to get to that place as well. Yeah. Like me just going, that was unfair <laughs> to be fair. Uh, me just going doing it, you can't. Like you can't. It's like someone going to someone. Be funny. Yeah, totally. Be funny. Yeah. You, it's yeah, like totally you're not going to be funny. The, the atmosphere is not there. The context yeah, yeah. isn't there. You can't get into you that flow state. You detach yourself. You have. You? But if we would, if this conversation went on for a long time yeah. and we were talking about impressions, eventually you'd hit the point where. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's just like a flow state thing, though. The yeah. same with everything. It's always hard at first, but when you just forget where you are and what you're doing. The same with these podcasts, you forget you're on camera, but when you're on camera and you're like, hey guys, can you subscribe to my YouTube? What's up, YouTube? Yeah, it's like, well, okay, I get you. But no, so um, how so how was your Christmas? Anything interesting occur, or was that flat? But Harry wanted to talk about something briefly. Presents. Quite nice I wrote it down, because you made a note of it. It's gorgeous, genuinely. It is, isn't it? Yeah. It's quite, I'm quite impressed with it now. I love no, it, it very nice. sweet, very mm. supple. No, so what you said to me, Harry, yeah. This was actually your talking point that yeah. I um, <clears throat> wrote down. Uh, <laughs> just a passive aggressive jab right there. Don't call me on me. You <laughs> remember coming. Don't call me on me. Don't call me on He come to me, he say. He say again that Italian. Sorry, carry on. No, no, no. I, I, I wasn't was really interested. And you were talking about good presents, bad presents. No, you I wanted was talking to talk about. about but you, did, you don't want to slag your present off in front of your dad. I just practiced while you talking. You know, I no, these are his talking points. No, these are my talking points. I'll get the script. Oh, I'll sorry, get the no. script up. You, oh, you no, hold the potty. No, I got the script up, right? No, I know I got the script up, and I was reading it, and I realised that it was completely adapted, but isn't for, for what we did. It wasn't the actual one. So yeah, it was about mine was just a bullshit variant of the yeah. script where I missed loads yeah, of yeah, stuff. Exactly, yeah, it was yeah. just like a Mandela um, script. Effect. No, what I was going to speak about, like, there's like two types of present buyers, isn't there? There's people who buy presents for you, and then there's people who buy presents Project, that they want as a pure projection. Yeah, pure mm -hmm. projection. So like. I got like books. There's like, people that buy presents in desperation as well. You think, oh, for God's sake, I'm just going to buy anything because I'm fed up with bloody shopping. <laughs> there is that. Which one would you say you fit? I'll fit into that last one. <laughs> <laughs> I generally know why people are disappointed with the presents that I give. <laughs> is that why you just wrap tenors up in, in, in paper? I've got it to the oh, Donko at any point. Right. Do you want the glasses oh, that don't work because they're not prescribed? We know each other for many years, but this is the first time you come to me for help. I don't remember the time you invited me to your house for coffee, even though our wives are friends. What do you want of me? I'll <laughs> give you anything you want, but do what I ask. 
And your son like your phone in you. <laughs> and what is that bonzeri? God Adlin. <laughs> is that your well, yeah. 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 Um no it's not. <laughs> I ask for justice. <laughs> <laughs> but it's Mario and Luigi. Look who Mario gave you justice. <laughs> oh, I'm not reading all that, it's too much. Yeah, but. An eye for an eye. A little bit, you know. Yeah. Not as deep. Then. You'll get there. I'll get, I'll get there. We'll you smash that, right? Yeah. You smash that. You'll get there. You'll get there. Should we, have, <clears throat> should we open another bottle of wine? Yes, of course we can. Yeah, of course we can while we're here. So, um, it, it I'm going to hold it up to camera, Harry, while you um, talk about the Christmas present thing. Just so people um, oh, yeah, so, There wasn't much to say about the Christmas presents, really. I don't think we can rip off it. I um, was faded it was. I was just going to say, um, have you got any... Uh, Is that on focus? Uh, no, it's, it's, it's manual focus, so it's going to be out of focus. We'll right. just do it after. Let's just we'll, get through, let's get... we'll get a shot after. We'll right, get a shot yeah. after. Um, we were scrolling through uh, your Facebook the other day, Dad, and we found your uh, uh, new... Oh, we found your New Year's resolution. Yeah, your New Year's resolution. I don't know who posted them. Yeah, I don't know who posted yeah, them. Yeah, um, so we've got... Uh, I need to be nicer and uh, kinder to myself. Um, Focus, be uh, disciplined, change my ways to change my life for the better. Yeah. Uh, be an inspiration to myself, uh, yeah. make myself proud, yeah. uh, shock myself, uh, carry myself in Shoot higher. Myself. And no, higher. shock myself, Rich. Don't do that, mate. Uh, love who I am and have patience what for myself. No, you yeah. did. Some, uh, Trudy uploaded that. Yeah, she <laughs> said she called it, she found it in your diary. Oh, right, cool. Okay. <laughs> It's not yours, Richard. What's she doing no. reading my diary? It's, it's, no, it's Demi fucking Morbies, Richard. I'm taking the mic. It's a model. And, uh, oh. <laughs> I love how he had to actually <laughs> refresh his memory as if it might have been him. That's why I Because he thought I shot myself. Yeah, I would love to do that this year. Yeah. I actually agree quite firmly with everything this 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 is saying. It mm. might have been me. Yeah, mm. could well have been me. Could well have been me. What do you think to those? Well, uh, when you get to my age, you, see, you need Facebook to remind yourself of what you did. <laughs> as long as it wasn't bad. <laughs> it's probably should be normally a bit bad, isn't it? If it's a bit bad, you don't. What, 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 what do you What do you think to those New Year's? What are your New Year's resolutions? My New Year's. Yeah, I want to know. I'm going to get trim and fit. You want trim and fit, bro? You do that every year. Yeah. But sometimes. It Trimmer works. and fit. What What should die? Oh, April 18. What What should die again? Say when this year. I. Uh, I'll Thank you. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Or when I am going to um, mainly go back to uh, berries and nuts, <laughs> go <laughs> and forage. Really, you're going foraging. I'm so foraging. You're, you're going berries. full squirrel. Yeah, I'm going f full squirrel uh, and probably blackbird on the berries. Yeah, because it's good mm. berries. But uh, protein. Yeah, it works. It works, and reducing the amount of food that you eat. Mm. I, need, I, need, I need a few lessons you lose in that. body fat does very it, very rapidly yeah does it actually make oh, you rapidly. lose weight though yeah yeah because you've been like just drinking smoothies for like two years how much do you weigh Richard I, I reckon I'm about 74 kilos in day. stone sorry I just can't transfer 11, 11 and just over 11 isn't it because yeah. I'm 70 yeah and that's 11 I think yeah yeah so you're just over 11 and I, you have to I'm, be. Just, I'm, I think I'm 40. I have. I have recently, <laughs> in the last year, put on more weight though. Yeah, but that's because you hired a chef. I hired a chef. And I get <laughs> Did you eat? No. Oh, Rose is Mrs. Yeah. But, and, uh, <laughs> but before I only oh, had right. three smoothies a day. That was it. Yeah. But that's good. I feel light as anything. But you've been eating well this year. Oh, we we've yes. been eating good. That how <laughs> it be though? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, <laughs> what are the downsides to only having smoothies? There's no downsides. No. No downsides. No, no. You don't when you get Shouldn't when you get up in the morning, no. you don't have to think about what you're gonna have because it's in the mix, it's all the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you got your you got water, you got fruit juice, you've got frozen uh, fruit, yogurt, nuts, spirulina. I didn't put maca powder, can't buy it anymore from Aldi, a bit disappointed. Oh okay. Um, and now I've started using uh, Lenny's turmeric. Because Lenny, Lenny died. Ashes. That's the dog. Yeah, yeah Lenny's our old dog who died eighteen months ago. Yeah, and he left a big box of turmeric, which I thought was lovely. Yeah, that, that was about. Uh, that's so old, though. Yeah, it's out of date. It went out of date in two thousand seventeen. But it doesn't matter. It adds a bit no. of spicy flavour in the morning. Yeah. I don't think turmeric goes off. 
quite frankly. Mm, it's a spice. Uh, yeah, but it wasn't it mixed with like coconut oil? No, no, no. It must be what, a specific it's made, is it a paste. Is it a paste? No, it's just powder. Oh, it's just powder. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you mean oh, it's just turmeric that Lenny yeah, had? Yeah, it's just a Okay, big there we are. Yeah. So you add turmeric in. Yeah. Coconut oil is good in your smoothie. Yeah. Three times a day. Come for lunch. Oh, I'm going to have lunch. I don't even think about it. Because it's going to be exactly the same as what I had for breakfast. Yeah. Bang it in. What well, I'm going to have for tea when I get back. Very quick. How long does tea take me? Mm, no time. Five minutes. Mm. No time. I'm going to do something else interesting. Do you feel, so, on that, do you feel that it, you can ever get into a rut with that like do you ever think like bro i could do with a steak and i am having smoothies every day and even though i I'm think in a routine, you, yeah, go on, you could you could do yeah it. if you let the temptation come in it's very easy yeah if you stay the course basically you have to be quite focused and it's also when you're out because sometimes you're getting hungry as well yeah yeah, yeah. but if you want to eat something eat fruit or nuts when you're out and don't be tempted oh, a lot of fiber with the nuts yeah. keeps you full yeah. Which, that's great advice, but have you ever good. followed it when you've come out for lunch with me? Yeah. When we go for the Mansfield Italiana. Yeah. Because nice little place there, isn't it? when I go with you. You do indulge yourself into a few paninis, don't you? You've got you? to. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah but can. beyond that, I wouldn't do it. No. Yeah. But you just. I don't think it's yeah, you. Right, you no. Unless I bought your lunch, you won't talk to me, you miserable git. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So about a year ago, when you were doing it's all this, coming out now. you also said. Joe Rumi I'm Carl. absolutely starving, and then yeah. you started eating your stock because you were so hungry. In well, you sweet. I did, yeah, that was the temptation. That was the problem. Yeah, you so you were eating, eating you about five Snickers bars in the day. No, I didn't eat that. I didn't eat that. I would turned into <laughs> Alan Partridge with his Toblerone. <laughs> <laughs> I was having a bit of trouble, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were caught in the car. You stimulated by your another skit. No. Yeah. Really. Um, no. So. No, I didn't. Honestly, I was quite good. The majority of the time, I was good. No, you are. Don't but you had, you had to be, you had to be very disciplined because it is tempting. You know, when you when you're working in a sweet factory and you know the sugar's coming out and lollipops are hanging over the side, yeah. saying "Eat me." When stuff's as good as this. Yeah, when you know. When stuff's you, as good yeah. as yeah. Wizards. I mean, whether I'll be able to keep to my diet now, there's Wizards Brew on the market. I don't think you can. Why don't you add it to your smoothies? I don't think anyone can. <laughs> that. I tell you what, if I had a dab of alcohol in it, that'd be really good, wouldn't it? You could, yeah, you it would be. And I tell you what, there's enough sweetness in it to just cloud all the. Mm. And that's why we're selling it to kids. What would you put in with it? Come in, come in, ring in. What on do you know? What I put in there. Phone in. Uh, we phone can in. if we had someone viewing, which would be fantastic. <laughs> so shout out all the subscribers. We picked someone recently, <laughs> and we're doing a skit which sort of roasts it. Yeah. So can can what, they, what, what do you mean? alcoholic can they drink? Phone would you mix? You could probably put a bit of JD or Southern Comfort in there. Yeah. JD probably. No, it's it's something could be too sweet, wouldn't it? That is already that sweet. Is sweet. It's, it's not like 18 grams of sweet sugar. Of sugar. No, you're thinking of Disserano. is sweeter than something. That's like nutty it's though. is a bit nutty, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's almost it's like marzipan, yeah. isn't it? That been, yeah. But basically, that is very sweet. It would cloud any sort of alcohol. You could, yeah, you could, I mean, you could even do it as like a mixer as well. It's great. 19 I think, Harry, I mean, you've got to get around the pubs and the bars and promote that. That's what you're With all your free time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm not yeah. a sales agent. You've got to get around there. All right, I'll do that then. You guys stay here and uh, I'll catch you in a bit. <laughs> yeah, me and Richard will hold the podcast. Yeah. Um, because... Come back when you've sold a crate of Wizards Brew. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See you can do I'll tell you what, if I went around uh, London with bottles of that, um, I could sell a lot. Go on, London would be a great area. Yeah. Cold calling. Nice place. Knocking on doors. Do you want to buy some of Wizards mm. Brew? Not sure. Well, it's really nice. All right, mate, I'll have some. Is yeah. that the pitch? What yeah. is your pitch? Okay, so yeah. I'm a potential buyer. I'm not going to make it hard for you. Um, Wizards Brew, the best drink on the market as it stands mm. when it hits the market, okay? Mm -hmm. Any uh, child, anyone interested in anything wizardry, Harry Potter, fantasy, yeah. you name it, this is the drink you want. Absolutely, okay, yeah. what a fantastic pitch, Joe. Yeah. Now I am the potential buyer. Yeah. Hey, Richard, how are you doing? I'm all right. What's up with your bicep? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it was used. Why are you wearing a t-shirt? Sell me with that. Sorry, Richard. Well, go just, on. I was just taking the piss, then. Yeah. Well, no, I just like it's sympathetic. Okay. Yeah, normally, if you've got yeah. some, you know, as people come around and sell you yeah. things that you don't want at the door. No. Okay. Do you want a dustpan? Got some sort what have you of got there? Or disability. What's yeah. this? This is actually a very, very nice drink that we created here. Well, I've, well, I've not got a lot of time, but. Have you not? No. But well, you know all the Harry Potter craze? Everybody's crazy about Harry Potter, wizard stuff. It's really, really hot at okay. the moment. Yep. And, you know, 
there isn't a drink in the UK on the market that is butterscotch beer. Is there not? Cap, there's not one on the market. Okay. There is Fact only check. one that comes over from the States and it doesn't comply to EU regulations and it's uh, not made in the UK for a start. This is purely made in the UK. Uh, and it's a beautiful butterscotch drink. So you're telling me my child who loves Harry Potter mm -hmm. can only get this from you in the UK? Yes, you can. You can only buy a wizard's brew from us in the UK. Lucky dip. That's a no-brainer. However, my uh, kid left home a few years back now. So mm -hmm. what's this got to do with me, well, to me well, as an adult? It was probably because you didn't have any wizard's brew in <laughs> <laughs> A lot of children have been known to leave their That was really good to me, but I like that. Uh, if they you don't know, have wizard yeah. brew in the fridge. But that'd be you have that in the fridge, you open yeah. the door, we got ties and coat. Every kid's got that. Yeah, yeah. And open it up, wizard's brew, wow. That's Made insane. by druids. Is that the... Yeah. Com no, yeah, no, that's manufacturing. That's yeah. Yeah, that's manufacturing. Cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah. That's awesome. Okay, Richard, uh, mm -hmm. I'll take uh, six bottles. How much is that? will that be? Six bottles? They come in packs of 12. Oh, I'll take a pack of 12. How much is that? I mean, do you just want those on case? You sure? I mean, how busy do you get? Not busy. I live here alone and I don't do anything. And if you think 12, look, listen, that's just 12. You're going to sell one, say, six I'll probably drink they're one. Gonna buy, they're going to come back, aren't they? Yeah, of course. I'm they're. not going to come back for a while. Are you not? So, no, I'm going to do a month. So I would suggest you want about 20 cases. 20 cases, okay, 20 Richard. Cases. Uh, and if you take 20 cases, yeah. and if you look at that, you could retail that. Your place, you easily get three lunch. Three ninety nine retail. Yeah, How much will it cost me a bottle well, before I resale? Uh, that'll come to you. I will go about. We're going to negotiate that. Or? No, we're not going to negotiate it. I'm going <laughs> to give price. you the best price. There's no point in me going back for you change your price. No, I'll give you the best price that we can do, and you can make some money. Of course, yeah, I'd love so to make some money. Good. That will cost you per bottle one pound twenty eight per bottle. One pound twenty eight bottle at three ninety nine. You're joking. So I'm almost yeah. getting a sixty percent discount on yeah. my on my purchase. Yeah. And what is the point of you Trying. Selling, selling these other bottles at much lower margins? Your cokes, the other yeah. things, you're not making any money at it. So no. something you make a decent profit on. So Richard, are you sure that if I take a punt on this new product that's yes. been brought to marketplace, hopefully yes. in the next month or so, yeah. um, I will be able to resell this to my my independent shop that I own. Absolutely. And to the customer base. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Well, I do like know, the branding. Know. It's great. You know, we've had something similar before. Like I say, there's one made in the States. Very, very strong sales. Very good sales. But this is a step up. This You're is joking. a real McCoy. Okay. We've never heard anyone say that. This is a real McCoy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where it comes from. Maybe it's a talking point. It's a talking, talking point. point. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Richard. Yeah, I'll take uh, 20 cases. How much is that going to set me back? Are we going to do the maths now? Know, Are we going to close the deal head. now? Yeah, not got maths in the head. If I had a calculator. Pleasure. Pleasure. My assistant will do it. <laughs> in every sense of the yeah. word. <laughs> 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 no, that, that, yeah, it is good, to be fair. Apart from that, it is good. So, um, yeah, sorry. Are you going to talk about this Christmas thing that you wanted, or have you just lost all motivation to do so? Not really. It was just a real. It was just a. Thought. No, because I'm interested. Like, what did you get? What did your son get you for Christmas, Richard? He bought me a pair of Re Reebok trousers so I could re replicate the look of my father when he was going out gardening. Oh, of course. Yeah. No, your dad. Or someone drinking tishki. <laughs> or someone drinking tishki. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, for your flipping gym stuff. They were rather a. They were a good pair of trousers. Elasticated here. Oh, God. Um, yeah. But they're nice. Yeah. Well, why don't you just. And I think next Christmas he's going to get me the top. So oh, of course. Cool. So you can have the set. Yeah, so it's, a, like, yeah. it's a two year deal. Yeah, I don't like going out. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, it's tops. So yeah. Yeah. Now I'm going to mention one thing. I'm glad you took your jacket off, Richard, yeah. because Harry actually had the exact same setup. We were. Uh, uh, yeah. Did you plan that? Yeah. You've got to keep me in the loop here. Did you well, plan so that? I didn't say anything to him. I was going to wait until he got on. You haven't spoken to him for then, a year. Then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then, then bring it up. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we were wearing the same top, weren't we? Is it Hugo Boss? No, it's not Hugo Boss. This one isn't. Not, not the same top, is it? <laughs> not the same top, is it? Yeah, just flexing the Hugo. Just Thanks. the one off. Oh, she did. Just I don't, know, I don't know where this is from. Annie bought me this. She yeah. goes, I've seen your dad in a nice Hugo Boss top. I she think he loves it. Yeah. <laughs> Annie, are you going to try some Wizard's Brew? <laughs> no, she's all right. Yeah, she uh, she obviously saw you in your Hugo Boss top. And thought, hey. I think the topic should be how many people actually buy the Christmas presents for people. Yeah, okay. Did you buy yours? I did all the time. Did you do her shopping for him? Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry, what you did, Ali, is you come in now, and now uh, Harry's getting attacked from this side and that side. <laughs> so he didn't actually buy anything then? What for you Christmas. You didn't buy any presents for I Christmas. I paid for them. It's not the same. Well, it's not the same. Did you yeah. give, did you just PayPal you? Did you shop and well, then he just gave you the money? <laughs> she wants to. I said, I'll do it. I said, I'll go out and do it. And she went, fine, now I'll do it. You wanted to do it on the 23rd. Yeah, and I did. I went out on the 23rd and I bought the remaining presents, with, which I would have done with everyone else's if Annie had not I can't talk, them. to be fair. I'm glad my mum's not I must have been slayed as fuck. <laughs> What's up? I didn't buy yours either. You didn't buy mine? No. No, I can tell. Yeah. yeah like, you bought me a car Last charger. Last year I got Gucci perfume from you. I bought that. Yeah, this year. Yeah. yeah. I got a car charger. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. We, got, we both got yeah, a wireless that was, a, that was again a Facebook yeah do you know what after I got that I did started you purchase seeing... Facebook ads do you actually follow through with the purchase no I just went ads come on on Facebook I buy things yeah Some that's reason. what I said yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no 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 this is a good topic so you are the only guy I know that mm. actively sees Facebook ads thinks this is a Facebook ad mm. goes through and then waits four weeks for it to arrive from China do you know what though but well, coat came from China. That's from China. I know. I can tell. Just born Facebook. I'm, do you know what? I knew I'm so glad he does that because it gives me a renew, reinvigorated faith in advertising through Facebook. Yes. Because there must be people <clears throat> like Richard. There are other people like me with <laughs> one arm and one ear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But the thing is, right? I tell you what's good. Yeah. This is the other thing. This is where PayPal falls down. Right. I noticed okay. this. Go on. I yeah. I I uh, bought something and it was the wrong size or the wrong description. Description came through from China. It takes four weeks. Yep. You can track it, right? You can track it. What across the sea? Yeah, you can say you put your tracking number in. It goes, bloke gone to fetch raw materials from factory. Is his name bloke? Or yeah, is it just you can track each stage of it. Yeah, it. yeah. It's on a truck from Yingjiang to Pongjing. Like that. Yeah, I mean, you know, they real places. It, it's at Beijing Airport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's four weeks later. Yeah. And anyway, you get the stuff. Yeah. It's not right. Yeah. Okay. And then what happens is you say, hey, it's not right. This. You can't for the life of you when you buy on Facebook remember who you bought it off, no. right? Unless you can no. wade through the your emails yeah. where we're confirmation. So you can't do that. So then I yeah, then I opened up a stuff. case on PayPal. It says you can I don't want dispute this. case. I mean, yeah, dispute, dispute case. case yeah. don't, don't want this anymore. Yeah. Um, and in within the terms of conditions when they're settled, yeah. you can only return it within uh, twenty eight days. Yeah, twenty eight days. Yeah, so if they sent it to you in thirty days, yeah, that's not PayPal's fault though. Mm. No, I think it is. If you well, know, no, actually, no actually, no, 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 but you can actually contact them and say that it is supposed to be 28 days from arrival. Yeah, well, I did. And, and but you I, can dis open the dispute at any Yeah, point. yeah, you can or, open the dispute yeah. still. Mm, yeah, so I opened remember. the dispute, $57 it was, right? And uh, they, and I wrote to the, Only when there's and problem. you contact directly, don't yeah, you, from, yeah. from the thing. And then they said, okay, what's the problem, blah, 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 blah. Went back and forth a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and they said, and pa uh, it was not Facebook, PayPal. So we're going to close your dispute because you haven't escalated it. And then I checked the messages, messages, and they said, oh, we're going to refund you fifty percent of the money back. Yeah. So what happens though is their finances get held as soon as you open the dispute. Their finances get yeah, held. So, yeah. so, so you and, it. and then when the dispute's resolved, the finances will either bounce back. Yeah. Or follow through into the account. Yeah. But they, they get frozen. Yeah. So um, they well, do their best in some ways. Like so you got fifty percent of the money back. No, I got I got a result. Because and then the when result. I went back, I said, okay, I'll I'll take that. They Eight. closed the case, and I couldn't go any further. Can't you just open it again? No, I couldn't. No, I that case is resolved. Going back case. Around to the same thing is that because I, you didn't respond fast enough? I needed a day. No, I hadn't responded. They responded back saying, okay, we'll give you half the money back. Yeah, but I hadn't seen that. Okay. I only saw that when they right. closed the case. So, well, with PayPal, if you're watching, um, I did write to PayPal and say this is a problem here. I'd actually, Elon, if you're I'd, I had got Again. a uh, result from that, uh, yeah. half my money back at least. I'd have taken that. You did get half your money back. Though. No, I didn't get half the money back. They offered me half the money. Well, well, I didn't. Right. But you didn't take they it. Couldn't, and then they I couldn't say it. yes. I will take it because they'd already closed the case. Right. This is going around in circles, but you probably exactly that was the problem with PayPal. Yeah, went around that in is what he's. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. Cool, so you're that guy that buys stuff one time <laughs> off Facebook and then the ads disappear and go on to it. But he shop. will buy again. Yeah. No, because I'll buy some other rubbish. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You keep buying yeah. stuff off Facebook. I know. 
What do you? What's your favourite? Are you an impulse buyer, then, Rich? Are you like? What the thought, sir? Yeah, but that impulse buy, buyers don't necessarily yeah. think they are. Well, I don't need to no. go out if I buy something on Facebook, do I? Don't need, I no, 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 but you don't need the stuff that you're buying on oh, Facebook. No, I don't need it. But no one needs anything, yeah. really, do we? I mean, yeah. it's all a buy, no. isn't it? It is a wrong. That's to do what we, uh, to do with GDP and all that stuff. Isn't it? You don't need to keep going and buying stuff and getting more stuff, do you? But what do you replace it with? What? This. What do you replace? I'm talking about bigger. Stuff. I'm talking about bigger well, stuff. I, I just didn't know what grand where. scale economics in yeah, terms yeah, of GDP yeah. and production. Yeah, yeah I just don't yeah. know. Where, I just didn't know where you were going with. I don't know how we got from you buying Facebook. It's well, consumerism. Yeah. And yeah. growth, isn't it? You need to grow things all the time. Yeah. Buy more, take yeah. more, take more things. So how do you how do you how do you live you in a life where you, you don't, don't need to keep buying, you don't need to keep growing, business doesn't need to do more. You don't. How do you how do you how does it sustain or would it sustain? Um people are always gonna buy no, stuff. Wouldn't because yeah, people would always buy stuff. There's no saturation point in yeah. my argument. You get a kick, don't you? That's why you buy the stuff. Yeah, like know. Annie's a big buyer, aren't you? Amazon buyer. She's calling you out. Yeah, she likes it. She's it's a hobby as well. I'm not gonna lie. Like Amazon buying is like if yeah. you got a bit of time, you got some cash, you're like, hey, what do I buy? This makes me feel yeah. good. I get it through the door next day and I can use it and just we're good to go. Stuff, yeah. yeah, it makes people happy, you know. It's just what you it is. Enjoy it. They get, a, get a little bit of a kick. Yeah, but it's it. not making people happy, isn't it? The clothing industry is suffering a big thing at the moment, isn't it? There's too many clothes. Dumb. They're, they're the biggest yeah, but they culprits. Do but they, uh, the, the there's a, a change of business model in terms of that where it's like seasonal drops. Mm. Whereby there's a limited run mm -hmm. of clothes yep. and there's not necessarily a restock. Mm -hmm. Whereas previously they would do like an inventory based system where it's like we stock everything from God knows how, how long. Oh. But now it's more of like a, a pop up shop drop thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. In yeah. terms of runs. I'm not saying it's great and I'm not saying it's perfect, but you know, the, the model, the sort of in that sort of fashion industry, it's almost like seasonal runs. Yeah. And then drops of certain items, but if they don't go, they don't get re. Yeah, but if the uh, if the consumer starts to change his pattern of buying, thinking, why do I need a new shirt for the summer? Mm. You know, I'm gonna start buying uh, some secondhand stuff. Yeah. Or. Um, <laughs> you know, I don't need to buy another shirt. You know, I need to yeah. buy five shirts this week. I'm going to cut that back. But why and would then, they change their buying and, and the business, yeah. yeah, because they're looking at environmental issues, aren't they now? Yeah, but but regardless, if you're making a ethically sourced mm. clothing, mm. you know, fair trade, all that, people are going to yeah, have less ethic. guilt. There's less yeah. buying guilt, but it doesn't necessarily mean they'll buy less, does it? No, but it, I don't know. Ethic, I'm, I'm, ethic, I'm just playing devil's advocate. Ethic, ethic is ethically yeah. sourced. Yeah, and I think good for the environment. You don't, you know, you're making f uh, whoever the business is. I mean, there's umpteen fashion stores, isn't there? Yeah, making loads and loads of stuff, varieties of t-shirts and blah 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 blah. Appreciate you don't hate need coming out that with some new Sorry, I was just doing a, pro <laughs> I was doing a promotional <laughs> advertisement on the back yeah. of that. So I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I just don't think I don't think people. Are, I don't know. Are you saying that people should shouldn't buy from them because they're economically or ecologically not sound? No, I think yeah, I, I think what is happening, yeah. what happening, people are starting to, you know, reconsider how they buy. Do they need five T-shirts? I don't Can think they, they, they are at all. I don't think so. Yeah, I think it's, it's true. Just... It's definitely true. It's happening, and that's yeah. why that there. And this is the whole thing about trying to push business bigger. They're trying to make more variety. How are we gonna How are we gonna respond to so you're saying consumer? that consumerism is dying? Yeah. I think it will do. I think I, th I just certainly cut die. back. I just think it will move. I, I don't think it's consumerism. I think it's genuinely part of the human condition. Yeah, I, like, I don't think it's, it's like a bad. Say it's that, but like, like okay, do. let's say the gaming industry, for example, like yeah. in-game purchases yeah. are now blowing up. Ever be? Yeah, but like, how, how, much, how much impact yeah. does that have on the environment? I'm talking about environmental. Oh, well, you're talking about yeah. the environment. Yeah, I'm not just talking about. Yeah, there is more of a it's digital stuff. Yeah, it doesn't cause any harm to anybody. It's actually great, isn't it? Look at look at uh, music now or so streaming, isn't it? I don't. You I don't have don't to make think, a CD. I don't think people care. Oh, they don't. But the thing them. is, as well, you've no, got they to, don't no, because they if do. you're right, you can get an ecologically sound person, but they're more than happy for a driver to come and deliver something to their door. Or there, because they're not thinking they're doing it. Do you know what I mean? It's not them going out mm. and getting the carbon footprint. It's on the no. business. So I don't think people care that much. It's like, a marketing it's, tactic. Yeah, it's, I think it's, it's a, a few people that like who will like, take it to the unth yeah, degree, yeah, yeah. which is like yeah, they will yeah, always. If you do just it. have a look at like fashion, um, yeah. like I said, the amount of waste in fashion. Uh, I don't think people. Yeah, yeah no. What I think is of. that newspapers and press pretend to care to make a story. I don't think the average consumer cares that much about the waste. 
And I also think that a lot of this is And also, I think people, yeah, people, are, people, are, people are shamed into, say, into saying that they do care. Yeah, but, like, reality. realistically, in reality, they're just like, they're they just don't want to get slandered by that many people by saying, I don't really care, I just want to get on with my life. You're not that bothered yeah, about kids, the waste you create. Yeah, but I'm 55, but kids being taught. In a, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 I'll be gone soon, and you'll have a really naff planet. Hopefully not. You never have to go skiing in the winter. You just have to watch old videos of your dad. Because that's what you'd do in your spare time if yeah, there yeah, was no yeah. snow. Yeah. Watch your dad in the snow. Yeah. I'd, I'd watch well, podcasts. Have to. Yeah. But I'd watch the Sunday Rose. But kids kids are being taught that, aren't they? Constantly from a very young age now about environmental issues. And it yeah. has to make them more aware and it has to make them think about what they're buying. Do you need it? I do it now. I do actually do it now. I think, do I really need that? Do yeah, I but really I don't know who do you but yeah, are but you you're saying money? are you saying the reason is ecological or economical? Like, are you saying you don't buy because it's, it's bad for the environment? Or are you yeah. saying you don't buy because you don't need it, so you say you save your money? Oh, well, they're both. Balanced. Well, I think they're both things, yeah. yeah. They're definitely both. You don't, well, if you don't buy it because you're thinking, oh, is that environmentally correct or whatever, then you're going to save economically as well, and you can go and spend on some other things that you want. Well, like buy a state. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but this is the thing, is like, I think people are going to, Blow mm. a certain amount of their wages every mm. month anyway, and it's yeah. either going to be. Yeah, they are. Yeah, that's they, a buying they do habit. because you've got the average person is going to yeah. go broke every They're month. They're not going to go. Oh well, I've saved X. Well, you take an extreme. Take an extreme then, if you go but over a generation. You look at my yeah. mum, yeah. your grandma. I know her. The way she shops, the way she buys stuff. Yeah. To me, to you, yeah. is completely. They spend all day, and they would all day. Yeah. Nearly every day shopping, looking for bargains. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah. the so rations are what they, they were actually dying. more. They were dying. Yeah, but I don't think that in shop buying is in the UK. I still think people go out and buy food stuff. They don't. I think actually. The no, no. But then again, the delivery actually the the high even the high, to the point in the high street even the point of high street supermarkets and whatnot is now going more transit based. Mm. Like like yeah. Tesco drop off all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so you know, people are valuing their time more, aren't they? You know, yeah, you, yeah you, I think so to some degree. Spend, you'd spend a couple of hours going to the supermarket, wouldn't you? Yeah. If you've got a family, you know, that is a culture of em- emphasis though, because there is more pressure now yeah. on your on your hourly I, I thought your this. hourly productivity. Yeah. Whereas I, prior it was like, yeah. I, I hate I hate going out and doing shopping, but I went out. I, I went to Sainsbury's to get some stuff yesterday, and I, the, it was quite weird how the amount of like couples are there, and they're all like in the like the meat section discussing what they can do with the reduced meat mm-hmm. and like what they like they're going out shower Jason Lloyd <laughs> they get what I'm saying is is like yeah people go out in couples and plan what they're going to eat and do like that and what well, we don't but you think they do but then I tell you what the amount of people who want to bloody well, take away God knows what which I got no there's yeah, no yeah, problem yeah. with a bit like I don't I don't yeah but, but then I'm saying that yeah, you brought you know grandma into it grandma will go out and spend a day at morrison's every monday or whatever mm-hmm. it is won't she yeah. and she'll buy whatever and she'll spend yeah. the x amount of money every week at the shop but like she just did that anyway like that's a generational that's, thing yeah isn't but it? i don't know how generational it is or whether that she's just no my grandparents do that no no my grandparents have like we are going to the we are going to the shop now and we're getting in this for yeah, you yeah, and yeah. we are having this and we're freezing X, yeah. Y, and Z, she, and we are. She yeah. like has two enormous deep freezers full of food. Like she would survive a nuclear holocaust. Let's go, Grandma. With with that amount of food, though, like she overfills and brings us food. Yeah, on she? food you don't need and stuff you don't need. So people realize they need to hoard it. And why do you need to hoard it? I mean, you look yeah. at Christmas. Uh, she says she's Christmas Eve, one. people are panic buying it. Probably oh, God, shops are closed for one day. I need hmm. need to stock up with everything. Yeah, one day. This, this is also alien to me. I feel like I can't really comment. Yeah, but that, that's like, I, I, no, I, I don't know do that, that because of her. I, I don't, what I'm saying is, it's like, why don't you eat? Just me. No, I just like, I don't, that I'm such a bum in the sense that I have no. Bit of a last minute. But yeah, I just like, it's, it's, it's food like, to me is like, shit, let's go, let's go. You want the smoothies? Yeah, no, you, you're, you're right, you're right, you're right. See, you're perfect. The, 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 no, the only thing, I, I, I just don't think that the, um, I don't think the supermarkets and I don't think the supermarkets are dying. I think maybe the massive ones, like, I, don't, I just think that Aldi and Lidl have just, like, created a whole new world of shopping that mm-hmm. Sainsbury's, Tesco and 
like Asda or, or on people's computer. And you go in, I was like, I was looking for salad dressing yesterday. It took me ages to say freeze. Put on your head. Yeah. It took me ages to say freeze. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it. Whereas yeah, in Aldi, really. in Sainsbury's, oh. whereas Aldi, you, you go in one. and there's one salad yeah. dressing and you pick yeah. that one up. And that's yeah. good. Saves that's you time. Done. Yeah. yeah. And those are, those are the, one of the, the highest um, in, in America last year, so what, 2018, not 2020, um, one of the, high, the the best stocks to buy was a sh- like a supermarket similar to Aldi, which was all American made, and they only had one of every item. Yeah. Like they only had one, and it was yeah. the, it, the, yeah, the stock that was um, was incredible. But there are two, sorry to interrupt you guys, um, there is one thing I did want to cover, which you did mention as well. Did you mention something about a dog cam? Oh yeah. So I uh, was speaking about Christmas presents. Annie bought. Uh, Annie got a dog cam. Who was that from? Who was it from? Huh? Her sister bought her a dog cam, so we can set up a little dog camera in the house. Yeah, cool. Oh, okay, so you can spy on your dog from upstairs, like yeah. a baby. See how dirty your floor is. Yeah. <laughs> so do you not like that. <laughs> I was on this floor. Um, <laughs> Doing what? I set the Hoover on. <laughs> set the Hoover on. So, so oh, tell me about so what, 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 so have you used the dog camera? Yeah, oh, Annie, that's good. And you can't seem to set it up yet. That's so you've left it to her yeah, uh, intentionally? Yeah, because it's uh, it just can't connect to the Wi-Fi. Oh, right, I don't, okay. We haven't really tried it. We got it out. So it's like, can you get well, into yeah, the Wi-Fi? Yeah, cat cam. What's between a dog cam and a cat cam? Oh, no, they're completely Cat cam. No, dog cams can't see cats. Have you ever thought of doing a day in the life of Richard and just GoProing everything? That would be great. That would be great. We no, should we get... just have him like getting annoyed at staff. <laughs> <laughs> you just see like him see recording just... staff and like slowly is like half a fist coming up yeah, and then yeah, just like yeah. drops and then about that. And then goes, oh. <laughs> and then he goes back and has a conversation about how it really pissed him off. At lunch with you and then goes back and yeah, does it all again. Yeah, he goes again. Uh... So dog cam, but do you, like, what do you do? Do you strap it to his head? Like... Actually, oh, yeah, I've yeah, got it on those pro cams that somebody, uh, Joe and Mark bought me about three no, years ago. No, it's dash cam. Dash cam. Yeah, dash cam for your car. Oh, it's a gash cam. Is that the, yeah. A gash cam. <laughs> We've got the cam here. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't. It's not actually good. Like, let's have a look. Like, where do you set us up? So this is from Ruth. Um, and that's a mic- is that a microphone? He's not going to so wonder very far, is he? Look, as long as he goes three yards away. Yeah, no, 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 no. You put it on the dog, you twit. You put it, you put it like in the room. Rich thinks it's a so GoPro. you can watch it. Extension. But have you seen the ones, right, so you probably haven't seen this because you, you haven't seen any pet things, but you can get like massive cameras now that like you can say your name, FaceTime the dog so it can see your face, mm. and then you can press a button and it'll throw a treat. How does the You're dog... You're joking. What, out of the machine itself? Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute, what's the dog looking at? He's on, he's so on the, imagine he's on this, line, it's a bit bigger, it's got a little screen on it. Yeah. I come up, hey, yeah. Paddy, how are you doing? Yeah. He goes, hey, I'm Paddy, nice to see you. I yeah. go, do you want a treat? He goes, yeah, all right then. And then I, and then you press the button. And does he go, yeah, all right then? Or yeah, does he he has he's to got to be looking at yep. some sort of screen. No, he doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. It's just like, imagine a camera yeah. with a screen, yeah. but then I can FaceTime. Yeah. So my, so... Then my face appears, and yeah. he's like, "That's that's my owner." And then, and then you can press a button, and a, a treat will drop out. Why don't you just come downstairs and do it, you idol? Well, I'm not saying this isn't that. I'm saying that there are products that do that. That's pointless. That makes people fat. <laughs> Why is it? Or is it them buying out stay upstairs, Richard? aren't they? are going to stay in bed. Dogs aren't going to get warm. But that's what just... that's what Harry wants, isn't it, Harry? You just want to lie in bed watching your dog all day. I just want to lie in bed yeah. watching my dog. She just got a video of somebody else's dog. <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to dog. read this. Sorry. Uh, there, there is there is something else I want to we'll cover. There are two things. Yeah. Um. Do you want to do you want to go into the recent edit phenomenon you showed me on your phone or not? Nah, it's just, nah, it's, it's just waste uh, of time. It's yeah. just waste of time. Also, I'd like to know something, Harry Ward. I'd like to know something, Richard Ward. Actually, while we've got you here, thanks for coming on again. Um, because we've just we've just closed out a decade. It's uh, twenty twenty yep. on the uh, on the but no, it is twenty twenty. I'm being an idiot. What was your highlight of the last ten years, Richard? <laughs> last Tracy. ten years. Are we allowed to say that? Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> really? Were you context the joke or not? No, no. no. Okay, so, it's a it's a really, the joke. Really. Uh, the highlight, not the low light. Not well, directly. Harry ten years ago. So. No, Harry's uh, yeah. older than ten. No, older than ten. Yeah. yeah. No. This is hard. Harry, what's yours? While Rich, while Rich is thinking and uh, deep in contemplation, 
Starting this podcast. Starting this podcast. That was a great highlight. That was a good highlight. One of the best. Starting Wizards Brew. Starting Wizards Brew. Okay, no, so it's just things we've been doing in the last few weeks then. Yeah. Just a few minutes. Just a few minutes. Starting <laughs> Wizards Brew. Okay. Oh, Scoring God. two goals for Farnsworth. Oh, here we go. That's <laughs> that just was... where it clicked then, yeah. and then it came yeah, yeah. like a flurry. That, that was brilliant. I mean, was you that... scored, you've definitely scored a hat trick for Farnsworth in the past three uh, past decade. No, last time I scored, I had two touches and before. scored scored um, two goals. Did you last yeah. the game? I heard about this. Yeah, did I last the game? I uh, probably came out about ten minutes on that. He that came on nice. one touch goal, yeah. two touch goal, yeah. Yeah. two touch football. So there was a goal really, really start. good midfielder leap. Passing into some great balls. No, it wasn't actually. <laughs> what was Lee the passing goalkeeper the ball? kicked the ball yeah. out, and I was on about what would be like three quarter line, and as it came back in the box or outside the box? No, well outside the box. So yeah, about in, the, in between the halfway line. Halfway and the, line, and yep. as it came out, and he was off his line, I placed it, it into the corner. So right foot. It. Right Paint the yeah. picture, right foot. Yeah. Well, just yeah. chipped over him, like lofted no, it, whipped no, it no, round him. I placed him. it sort of round him. Sort of little curve, little left curve Lovely. into the bottom corner. Awesome. And how far and was he off his line? very, very first touch. How, how far was he? about... Six yard yeah, box? Yeah, a bit further. Yeah, 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 penalty spot sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. And how did you score the second one? Second one? Hand of God. Now that was a deflection that I followed up on. Some, I think did somebody, it eat your face and somebody, do it? <laughs> somebody had a shot, came back out, still had to place it, you know, still got this still. There's always skill involved, yeah, always skill involved. Fine. A lot of defenders in the way, goalkeeper, got to find the right angle. The goalkeeper was in the way, yeah. Down one side, yeah. Which side, bottom left, bottom right, just... Bottom right again. Drilled it, that's excellent. You score a lot, you used to play a lot of five side, why'd you stop? You played with him, didn't you? I had, you had too play. many injuries. Yeah, yeah too many injuries. my body kept What's your excuse? Off. <laughs> my first five. Do you remember my first five aside game that I played with you? You scored, didn't you? Yeah, the wrong way. Yeah, you yeah. scored. The <laughs> so he brought me along, showed me off as a youngun to all his ha- mates. Harry had to when Harry played football. He often had to rewire. Check it. my alpha son. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Check my alpha son over here. I've seen. He's going to be sprinting around the pitch much faster than you old guys. Yeah. And then, Fucking but to be fun. fair, right, it wasn't my fault. You had a flipping 70 year old in net who couldn't catch up with the ball. So he passed yeah, it. Yeah, he hit it and this the is ball. like, this is the thing 20% of the guys that play five aside are knobheads, aren't they? Like, oh, I played and I'm not a knobhead. Yeah, I said 20% are. Yeah. So, you like some of the other guys who brought their sons along their sons mm. actually thought they were sick because they were playing with like guys yeah, in their yeah, 50s yeah. and 60s of yeah, course yeah, yeah. and they would like coach you like throughout yeah. the game so that shut the do up. this Harry do this yeah. push it back push it back push it back to the keeper. pass it back to the keeper. alright wasn't a great pass <laughs> alright I'm going to shoot it as hard as I can at him alright so I passed it and this guy's like oh, I just realised ah oh, he left his crutches at home so he couldn't make it across <laughs> the goal net <laughs> to get a touch on could he do was this a drilled pass Relatively powerful, but it wasn't that powerful. But I, I was like, I was in the back. So imagine the back left. You didn't, corner. you didn't sort of think this guy's seventy. No, a, I, I need thought, to. I know how you ball. play as well. Yeah. No, it's no, so no, funny. No, 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 but I passed it and it hit the far post. It was cracking. If it had been went goal, in, it had been no, but it hit the far post and went in, so it like went across. What the do you net. mean? No, but it went across the net. So you whipped. Him. So you whipped one no, past no, no, your no. keeper. So. Okay. Here's your pitch, right? You no, no, here. Here's the, go- here's the goal, Harry. Here's, here's the, goal. the goal. Here's the goal, right? Goalkeeper's here. No, no, no. Pretend the goalkeeper's there. So here's the goal, right? Yeah. No, no, here's the goal, yeah. right? I'm, uh, and there's the other goal. Yeah. Up here. For those watching. Um, I'm here. Yeah. Guy passes it to me. He goes, send it back to the keeper. The keeper's here. Yeah. I pass it, but I passed it across him. It hit the post and went in. no accuracy as to you passing back. No, 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 but I thought I was just like slinging yeah, yeah, across, yeah, yeah. thinking yeah. that he thinking would right, reach a right it. right foot control. Yeah, yeah, I thought he would reach yeah. it, but he just like lunged for it and completely met. So I'm not going to take entire... Did he blame. make a meal out of it? No, it was all right, Harry, don't worry about it. Don't what was everyone else it. saying when this happened? You'll have to make it up by scoring a hat trick now. And I did. Little chance of that. And I did. Did you? I did, I scored a hat trick. Did you? Yes. Well, do you not Never, remember this happening? Ever. No, I no because I think a lot of them felt a bit bad. <laughs> a lot of us did. My positioning was excellent. Yeah, and, nice, um, uh, yeah, scored a, scored a couple of bangers. Did but you? you're not allowed to score. You, you, it's all outside the box, isn't it? You, yeah, you, you play outside the box. box. Yeah. So I was um, just sitting, sitting up at the top, That's really. The just just, 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 just waiting for a nice yeah. pass. 
Yeah, and uh, that's quite well, long. That's quite right. helpful. Well, used to be good, but yeah, I good. suffered too many injuries. That's the problem. So, do you remember you were uh, in? Uh, you said one night, no, I'm only going to play in net tonight because I don't want to come. I don't want to come back Dumb. with injuries. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I think you got your worst injury ever. Didn't you? you like busted your whole entire knee. No, I tell you what, that was. I came out to your the ribs. Ball. Huh? Do you remember what you did with your ribs, where you rolled over and your whole side of your body bruised, and that was just from catching? That was the ball. on the left side. That that oh, was on the landed on the ball. <laughs> but why? <laughs> but why? Like, yeah, why did you fell. do it? <laughs> and it's all cracked on his ribs. No, that, yeah, that, why did you fall on top of the ball? Why did I? Yeah, that like, why? Well, he didn't say, "Oh, I'm going to do that deliberately." No, he was a bit slow. That's what I'm saying. It sounds like he was slow. Slow to no, get No, no, no. But you're the only 50-year-old goalkeeper that still dives. Oh, were you in goal? Were you just yeah. diving yeah. about? Like yeah, a, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's the yeah, most yeah, acrobatic yeah. goalkeeper. Yeah, yeah, loves it. Probably Nottinghamshire. I'm not a bad keeper. Though, no, no, you're not bad. I'm just saying you're extreme. But that that one where I was going to stay. Oh no, that was the eleven side. But yeah, 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 okay. Same with the five side. Five side. Yeah, because you had to go to A&E, didn't you? Yeah, I had to go. <laughs> when I came out and the and the ball was there at my as I came out to cover it and he, yeah. the guy kicked the ball straight into my blinking oh, yeah, teeth yeah, he did. I thought I'd lost all the teeth mouth was bleeding yeah 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 uh, and I thought I'd lose all those bottom teeth but I yeah, because you were on the floor, weren't you? And he actually had the had ball. Like yeah, he had he so many opportunities fo- to stop. Followed through with his foot straight into my yeah. mouth. He had so, so many my opportunities. Jaw really? so it got into yeah. the back of my head. Yeah, really. Because yeah. I, 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 yeah. yeah, because I was there for that. That was quite yeah. severe. Yeah. Like. Every time he's going into war, every time there's a five aside, you may or may not come back. I don't know. That's the problem. I don't know. Yeah. But you Although take that apparently. risk. He takes that risk every time he walks inside that room. Because there was an old woman that met in Germany. Of course, yeah. let's go. Right. And she said that I was, I had the numbers, whatever these numbers are. Do you remember these number things that you make up? Um, the ta- ta- tarot cards. Your yeah, tarot cards. Was it tarot? I don't know what it is. Well, fake, they, they fake, give you a number, then you add it to this, and you take away Okay, you something like that. Blah, 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 blah. Yep. I had the luckiest number that you could ever have. So she said, she literally said this to me, <laughs> before I was due to go home on the plane, she said, if the plane crashes, yeah, yeah. you'll survive. And there's one person comes right. up, it'll be this you. Did great. you just not bother with your seatbelt? No, 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 did you just run about? You like, gone now. Yeah, and I'd miss. You should, you'd miss, I'd just sit here. <laughs> Imagine if I did, and it just blew his brain through. It's so cool. Russian roulette, first one. I believe you, mate. I believe that. I believe that he believes it. I believe that he believes it. This is a great segue because I thought this, and I thought this would be a great segue. So, how many times have you dodged death? A few times, yeah. Yeah. So you've been on a terrorist attack on a plane. You're joking. Yeah, yeah. You've been on a terrorist attack on a plane. Yeah. Remember the lorry? You were the doors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. You've been in a few car accidents, but not something serious. Yeah, just serious, serious thing. So, so what was the terrorist go, attack go, on the, go the terrorist attack? Yeah, the terrorist attack. Uh, Great segment. Was yeah. a. I've been on actually. I've been on two planes with have been quite <laughs> strong incidents. One was. He's just going to like I say there's a guy in a head wrap or something. Again. The, Hong Kong. Yeah. And a guy was sat in the middle aisle. Yeah. And as the plane started to go, this guy gets up, runs forward. I think. Oh, are you desperate for the toilet? <laughs> toilet was at the back. Yeah. And then there's this commotion, blah, 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 and he's uh, he's wielding a knife, and Big he tried one. to get into the pilot. You know, Ooh, he's joking. Break in, and somehow they managed to bring him back, put him in a room at the back for 13 hours. We're going to try and beat back. the storm. <laughs> the police came. It was all very, they kept it all very quiet. You never heard it on really? the news. Really, news really. Like that. But that yeah. was obviously that is luck to some degree, but. Yeah. Mm. He'd have had to go for a lot of boys to get to you. Yeah, it would have been, yeah. 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 And then what happened again? I thought you had one with a load of German men or something. There's one on a flight, yeah. I think it was, yeah, it's going out to China. Because Rich should start singing Two World Wars and One World Cup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And that was, yeah, a group of Germans. I think it was somewhere, it was a Middle East uh, airline. So it'd be. Gulf Air or something like that. Yeah. And there was literally a pitch battle on the plane <laughs> at 30,000 square feet, 30,000 square feet, 30,000 feet. <laughs> and, these, and these Germans, a group of Germans, and all the attendants yeah. were really? in What blood were you doing at that point? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hiding in the corner. Get a few, get a few <laughs> 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 No, I was like, look at him, I'm like, oh, <laughs> no, 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 one of them came at him and he went, 
<laughs> Oi, you back away. Oi, no. You back away now. Uh, I don't touch I'm not deaf. I, I just pretend I couldn't hear anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good lad. Good it's lad. quite useful to be deaf in one ear. Just when you've got kids. I can imagine. Because you kids, because you can just lie on your... Yeah, just lie on one. You never hear them when they're crying at night. <laughs> that was mental, though. There was a full-on yeah, football honest. factory yeah, scrap. Absolutely. Do you know what it was about? Did you ever find out? No, no idea. No idea. No yeah, idea. I remember it, we stopped in Bahrain. Yep. A bit weird that. And you go to Bahrain, <laughs> uh, change the flight, because it was a cheaper flight to go to, I think, Beijing. Yep, yep, yep. And um, they have like smoking rooms. <laughs> People going there, uh, Arabs and whatever, going to smoke it. And it's like unbelievable. unbelievable. You cannot see a thing in these things. You know, like you a sauna. You feel the wind, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. There's fog and mist, and then the one comes out. There's smoke. Comes out. <laughs> what, 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 what? Did the Germans or something go in there, or was that just? No, that was after. Oh, yeah. No, this was just. Uh, oh, it's called a tandem. It was after that. Yeah, yeah. 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 high on tobacco, I think. And all the, I remember. Okay. I don't know what was that there? I can't remember. But you had to. Um, yeah, all the guys looked like Saddam Hussein. But all the. <laughs> Oh my God! All man. the, all the, yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah, okay. All the uh, security yeah. guards, yeah, yeah. exactly the same yeah. look. You know, yeah. I mean, you know when like Beckham had his hair cut, right? Yeah. And everybody shaved all the hair yeah, off yeah, at school. Yeah. You're, so you're, you're saying, you sorry, are, sorry, so you're saying they were all copying Saddam Hussein? Yeah, because yeah. he was he was popping. He was popping. Yeah, that's what it was like. Was the Beckham of the Arab world? Yeah, absolutely. He was popping. Yeah, he was popping off. Yeah, yeah. But it's funny, isn't it? How it follows. Yeah. And then what was the other time? You, said you nearly died uh, when a lorry uh, with the doors. You yeah. were unloading the lorry. Yeah, I was unloading a truck and I was stood at the back of the truck. And so that was the bed of the truck there. Big, yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, thing. And the massive, you know, the massive doors that come around. It was a windy day in Blackpool and the you know, wind's blowing off the promenade. And I'm waiting for this guy to unload these boxes. And I'm stood there and then I don't know how. But for some reason, I went flying back, moved down the way, and this door came whizzing around like that. Really? Shut. So that would have slammed you if right I'd into it. If I'd have been it. sat stuck no. in the middle there in a chop. So, really? I'd have been a real you, battery. And that made you believe in God and angels. That made me believe in God Yeah, because you yeah. literally... I thought, I, I, you, but you do not... There was no recollection of why yeah. you went back. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, just yeah. did. Yeah, yeah. To, and you yeah, avoided yeah, it. Yeah, That's yeah. crazy. That is actually crazy. It was crazy, yeah. Has it that was... happened again any time we've Did it scare you? I'm sorry to interrupt. Harry. Did it really shock you after that, or were you actually quite amazed? I was shocked. You were with another yeah. girl, there was a guy there. He, like, didn't understand that. Yeah, 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 he did. How did he get, he said, how did he get out of the way of that? I couldn't believe it, yeah. Then there's like a full, you know, those big doors. They're heavy. Yeah, they're yeah they're literally heavy. would have yeah. taken yeah. the lorry doors. So yeah. bad, man. Yeah. Oh, Whizz around at a heck of a speed. You know, gales that used to get up there. Oh. Blackpool. Yeah. But yeah, I managed to get back. And it must have, must have just... Are you meant to put like a bar? Are you meant to put something out to yeah, stop you're it? Yeah, you're supposed yeah. to... Like you're supposed to... Can you not uh, make the doors... Yeah, it was fastened. It was fastened. Oh, really? It came out? It came off. Oh, So the shit. wind was strong enough... To, to, to unhinge it, yeah. To unhook Jesus it, Christ. and uh, uh, came belting around. And there was no recollection <clears throat> of why, not even instinctually, why you went back. You just felt yeah. like you... Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. How many times guardian angel. Oh God! It's like a sixth sense. Yeah, just like a primitive <laughs> understanding yeah. of yeah. danger. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But sometimes you get that, don't you? You do, and yeah. I tell you when you get it, and this is weird, but any sort of action, you, it's most common when you're falling down the stairs, everything just goes slow motion, mm -hmm. and you can almost try and position yourself as to how to. Yeah, 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 anything yeah. that's like severely dangerous and just like crops up instinctually in your get body. That. That's not like, because that's like dodging falling down the stairs almost. That's like being... Aware of danger though, but Rip, what Rich is saying is like there was no understanding that there was danger. He yeah, exactly. acted before, like he pre -ended. Not mine. It's like you're seeing <laughs> the third eye. Yeah. Tom, give the, give the low Cruise. eye, the high eye, not the low eye. <laughs> the last yeah. of the samurai. Yeah. When he's going, he's back, but hitting him with that stick, mm. and he's yeah. going, he's going, no mind. No mind. No mind. You have no to clear mind. your mind. Yeah. And yeah. other things going. It's very true. You are mm. right. It's yeah. Difficult position to get into, but. You've taken that philosophy into everything. Yeah, he's just like, I need to hit this flow state again because I'm, I'm popping off when I hit it. Mm. Yours. Yeah, but then play, when you play football, I often do sometimes, it's like you're saying with your, with your voices, yeah. like, oh, okay. Yeah. When you play football, sometimes, I, I, I could do it. If you went to practice, yeah. and sometimes somebody mm. passes the ball and say, oh, you know, shooting the goal and score a goal. And you couldn't always do it on yeah. practice. 
But if somebody, when I'm on the football pitch, had lobbed the ball over to me, I could control it without thinking. Yeah. So you're in that... If you, so you do overthink things, don't you? No, no, no. But you, you're talking about flow state, aren't you? You're talking yeah. about like um, unconscious ability at that yeah. point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereby yeah. You're, you've done it so many times yeah. that it just becomes a subconscious yeah, behaviour. Yeah. Yeah. But the, And that's like a flow state whereby everything is purely an unconscious yeah, yeah. Yeah. movement. Yeah. And yeah. it's not... Because when you're bad at something... Mm you're still consciously mm-hmm. trying to do it and therefore it's jarring and yeah. doesn't feel yeah, natural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it is. It's a real mind uh, blocker. I, 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 I can play, you know, I played football from very young and a lot of the time when you weren't, you were just doing the football yeah, and that yeah, thing, yeah. you played better. But yeah. I remember going back to playing for probably about 19 years old, playing for Farnsfield. Yeah. And I had a really still bad... Yeah, still no Farnsfield. Yeah. No progress, no skating. Really. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but you stayed on the team for 30 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where's his medal? Where's yeah, most yeah. improved? But what, what... I had a terrible year. And, most and I knew I was playing badly. And yeah. I couldn't for the life of me. I couldn't do the simple... I couldn't dribble with the ball all of a sudden. Overthinking it, probably. And I was just trying to... Yeah, just trying to think. Yeah. Why I just you, went back into why playing... Why you like that at football but none of those skills were transferred to me? Uh, maybe you got that year. <laughs> yeah, I had a really bad year. Pass that one. You're saying that I was gene. born when yeah. you had a really bad year. Yeah, 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 yeah. If mine wasn't on Farnsfield, yeah, yeah. you actually detracted him from thinking about it. Yeah, football. but you used to take me to football every Saturday, and I used to really enjoy watching it because mm. I should have been on the pitch. Mm. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. You're good. You're good at like wearing the extra coats and things. Like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. You always had a coat for. War boy, war boy. Yeah, you're good at bringing the war, uh, bringing the extra coats and stuff. Yeah. Um, that's that's a, that's an admirable role. Yeah, it's an admirable role. Like, Through you know, gimp. Someone's got to be there if the eleventh person doesn't turn up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah because otherwise you got everyone else. He was all, which is just sort of. He was always yeah. there. But no, this and is. Can you just get your ladder again, man? Same stuff. Hey, but like we were the right. So so my dad, he used to go to football every Saturday. Yeah. We used to go with granddad. Mm-hmm. We used to bring, we used to have the biggest turnout of family members. Yeah. <laughs> no players. <laughs> no players. <laughs> the fucking support system yeah, but was we so did. intense. Yeah. Sometimes we grandma were. used to come, she used to Let's bring go, boys. my uncles, yeah, but we used bring to the dogs. Big turnout. Mm. And we used I to bring all the kids in the car because yeah. all the dads couldn't be bothered to watch. Yeah, yeah. family yeah. men, yeah. Because yeah. they had a backup, yeah, it's like in the military. Yeah, well, they were all hung out. It's like in the so military, isn't it? You've Obviously, getting that. your family yeah, to yeah, yeah. the game. So they were all there. I was there watching my team play. <laughs> <laughs> they were watching you yeah. watch your team play. Watchception. Yeah, watch ups. There, there used to be a lad who used to go every week and he was a good lad and, he, and you'd be winning about 18 nil, and he'd have scored about 17 and they would not bring him off. They would never give, they'd never give Harry yeah. a chance. Yeah. He's got 17 goals. I'd get all one. I'd get all one. And then they go, yeah, about granddad would go, are you going to let Harry on? Yeah. So they get to about eight minutes. And I hate was, that shit. She was horrible, actually. She no, was but horrible. I hate she that shit. Coach. Yeah, but do you know the coach? Me and the my coach brother, yeah. was the striker's oldest. Of course thing. it is. Yeah, the thing cool. is, as well, with, with these sort of like... The the do, if you're listening and you, you get anything to do with this, sorry in advance. The fucking <coughs> parents live through their kids yeah, so yeah, hard, yeah. like in, in these circumstances mm. whereby, and they're That's like, "That's why I was lucky; he was rubbish at most." Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you didn't have to live through him. Yeah, you just turned up and did it yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's like they live through their kids, and it's like it's a kids' football, man. Just let everyone yeah. have a go. Do you know what I mean? It's not like giving everyone a win, but it's just letting them play, man. They're turning up. They got the kit on, they got the shinies so on, all their families there. Teams. Mm-hmm. When Grandad used to manage Calverton, did you ever yeah, used to play? Yeah, played all the teams. But there are some great coaches, shout out Deng Leeson. Yeah, but what I'm saying, did you, 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 you um, he didn't do that with you, did he? You wouldn't say... Oh, no, 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 he, went, when, he was quite fair. No, when and players Bob were... Um, everybody would get a game, Yeah, yeah. it should have been. Everybody got a game. And if you were winning easily, it made sure all the other lads got a good so game. So this is why grand, my granddad used to get quite triggered. Because I used to be always on the bench, but always turn up every Saturday. With yeah, that is, that is, that is, that is he daft, to, though, bro. He used to coach football teams yeah. and would make sure everyone, everyone gets their gets the fair That yeah. was just his kind of thing. So he yeah. used to get really peeved off, didn't he, at Emma? Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, we, didn't just, we used why, to get peeved yeah, off, though. Yeah, like, not me, because I was actually sick. But yeah. um, <laughs> no, I wasn't sick. I was Moved to another club because. 
Dude, his kids thought this is a thing like fair play. Like if it's you know whatever. You just want to have a kick around with your mates. Yeah, you, you turn. Cause... But it's like they turned up. You know, there's yeah. no there's, at the end of the season. You just repeat it next season. The kids turned up. It's like give them a run out, yeah. man. Because otherwise you get poli- like then it's yeah you get political poli- parents where it's like all bitching about. It's like just give them a half first. Yeah, exactly. off. If it's not very good, let the good players go. Exactly, it's like they don't, you know. I mean, your kid doesn't have to be good at football for a run out. Jeez, man. And then we had a similar story at um, rugby. Taekwondo. No, Taekwondo. That's not a team sport. I know, so that's I did that's right. when you wanted to be a sub. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't didn't want to get you're gonna have to fight him this time. There's no <laughs> point. There's only two of you in the fight. I can't remember being on the. Richard's making you fight a sixteen-year-old girl. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I just don't want to do it. I don't want to hit just a girl. Just knocks you out. Just go out. She just knocks you clean out. In all fairness, he was the He's only good at one taekwondo. from Taekwondo yeah. who actually went into a competition. Yeah, he did. So the rest of them all did Bitched out. funny about with yeah. patterns, didn't they? And he yeah. actually did go into yeah. a competition. Yeah. You were yeah. big dick yeah. on yeah. that. Yeah, I used to beat up some kids yeah. when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah. And then when I was an adult, because yeah. I couldn't fight adults. Yeah. yeah. So, you <laughs> so you peaked. I don't know, right? There was this kid, do you remember this? We were in the North East North Norfolk. And I think it was one of my first ever ones. We were in the Young. I think Hugh was there as well. And uh, Hugh will remember this if we when we get Hugh on, and I think you will as well. Um, and I don't know what they taught this kid, but he just ran at me screaming. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, I don't know uh, what. No, they what actually happened was Harry. They t- they told him you killed his family. <laughs> and he was just like, ah! <laughs> like that. Like, do you remember that? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. And Did I just him. Yeah, I just kicked him straight in the stomach and winded him and he was out. <laughs> his, his gum shield came out and it was so That's mental. So and he was like, he was just curled up on the floor for the rest of it. Just screaming. I don't think he was actually in the competition. I think he was running to get his bus. <laughs> yeah. ah, my bus is late. He was in the way. He sliced him in half. Did you win that competition? Um, I did all right there. I won that one. It was. I couldn't really tell, like because those ones. Was he the last boss? Of kids. No, he wasn't the last boss. He was the first boss. <laughs> oh, was he? Yeah, okay. he was the first. So he was but like... there was lo- there was loads in that category. Really? It was like when you went to like the north, like the regional ones. Weirdly, they used to like bundle loads of kids in together. So it was like, it wasn't like height or no. weight. It was who turned um, up. It was whoever turned up. There were tiny tots, wasn't there? There was Tiny Tots. That was your weight class. Oh, yeah. Then there was the one above it. That was your weight class. Was the one above it. Oh, so so Tiny Tots is like, so right, the, basically the way that they do I it, can sort of surmise what it is. They do black belt and below. Yep. So if you're below uh, black belt, then and so then it's Tiny just... Tiny Tots, that was women. <laughs> <laughs> then it's just height. But like, so basically if, if you're below 60... <laughs> <laughs> so so basically uh, anyway like below si- when you're below under 16 yep. and under a black belt basically there's like two categories and that's it it's like height whereas everything else is like how you'd expect yeah, yeah. fighting so you just get a load of kids just like fighting each other so i remember turning up and you'd be there for ages in your bow like just to go oh, yeah. like go on do you remember there's just ages, mm. ages and ages but also because there was so many it was also yeah, a knockout to kick out Love so it. um yeah but i remember going to sometimes there wasn't it you're like a 12 year old kid and then you, i remember going to like the british tournament and you're fighting flipping jack lee's kid do you remember and he'd come in like the english suits like proper really, suited bro. and booted and you get in the you know, the shit kicked out of you by some little flipping kid. It was, it was you're insane. Also, you're also a little kid, but like yeah. the different, like the skill balance is just. Nah, astronomical. Yeah, like you're probably only getting like whacked because he's like. Yeah. When I, when, I used to, when I used to box at, for Newark, he used to go um, to your boxing belt, which would be mostly a working men's club. Yeah. And you, get, and you were sat in the changing rooms and you were thinking, who am I fighting tonight? He's got not fighting vision. And you see a big lad and you're thinking, oh, I'm not going to be fighting him, be all right. And then he whittled out and he said, he's still there, I wonder who he's fighting. Has <laughs> 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 so he not gone on yet? Yeah. Has yeah. so he not gone on yet? Yeah. And uh, there was no matter, you weren't supposed to fight anybody with them uh, who was outside five pounds of your own body weight. Mm. When I fought, that never happened. I've, I've got a story Everybody, about that as well. Yeah, some big, big lads. And you'd end up fighting. You'd turn up about seven o'clock. And because I was in, I was welter, I yeah. think. Um, and you'd end up fighting about half past 11 at night. And you're actually, you're ready for bed. And you go in the room. <laughs> and all these working, if you'd all be smoking 
uh, cigar yeah, 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 yeah. And again, the, the room was all full of smoke, and you get the first round, and you would <gasps> <laughs> you <could> hardly <laughs> breathe. And you did take some batterings in there, there's some heavy fights. There was, um, spe- speaking about that, because my, my granddad told me he used to, it was in the army, in the paratroopers, and they used to do boxing and stuff, but he used to literally be like, the, the training was literally like, ciao, granny. You get in front of the dude, like line up, and you literally just have to punch each other in the face, right? Really? Like literally, it was yeah, bad to the point where you used to stand up and you should literally just have to smack each other in the wall. One of you yeah. just like collapse. Yeah. That was literally. And then they used to get in the boxing rings, and you know what? It was like a big leather, like it was almost like sacks of leather, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. And you could fight. There was no weight. Mm. It was whoever would get in the ring. Mm. But some of them were professionals. Obviously, he'd been yeah, yeah, yeah. into the army, and uh, it just depended who you got. Who you got. My granddad had one, and like he went in, and he was fighting like the the pro. And uh, he, no, no, sorry, he was he wasn't fighting the pro. He fought this dude and yeah. lost. Like they, he goes, we danced around a bit or whatever, and lost. And the next up was you went on in yeah, the competition. Yeah, like so this dude off. went, and the next one was a professional, mm-hmm. and. Um, <laughs> So he got in the ring, this dude, he was all giving it all that and whatnot. The professional came, bombed him once, you know what I mean, in the kidney. Everyone, everyone at the side went, stay down, stay down. <laughs> he didn't, he gets back up, she gets knocked out. That has to be taken to God knows how long. But like the professionals would like, yeah. detonate. I've actually read stories about Yeah, like, it was so ships, dangerous, yeah. Like, ships, when they were getting shipped out in yeah. World War Two, they would like, they would... Um, do boxing belts. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Like, yeah, some of the people would just get the shit kicked but, out. But they were like, your granddad was, friendly, was, my granddad was like, you just had to go in, just take it, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, and then just get out and hopefully just like, get out. Not get yeah, out. Yeah. Yeah. Realize, well, not when, die. When, when you were training, you're training a 14 or 16 ounce club. Yeah, it's yeah. 12 now. It's quite, you know, it's just quite big. So when it's you ridiculous. hit, it's some sponge. Mm. But when you actually go in the in the ring first time, uh, box with, they, you box with eight ounce clubs. Mm. Oh, yeah, so yeah, there, yeah. there's no cushioning in it. So when the fist hits you, so yeah. you walk onto a punch. Yeah, I, I remember, I remember my first fight, and I won Boxer of the Night on that yeah. first. Because he took a big hit. <laughs> this is real. This is true. But I remember that lad. I walked onto his punch. It was it? But it, it was like being hit with a sledgehammer. Yeah, oh, man. I thought I thought I was out, but I accidentally walked him. He was about. So how did you win Boxer of the Night after getting slammed? No, he only won. So I walked him. I, I, oh, because okay. I had a lot did of. Did you energy. beat him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beat him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. A lot of energy, dance right? Yeah, yeah, a lot of energy. I mean, I just went hell for leather. <laughs> I could probably box better now than I did when I was 17 or 18. It's so scary because like, I used to do it in London and I used to train a lot and had to, I didn't ever have any amateurs, but I had a lot of spars. And once I got hit, I came off the ropes and I got hit and I was literally pissing blood. Yeah. It's like, and I used to go, every time I used to spar, I yeah. used to wake up with the worst headache. Yeah. Which literally like put me off doing it. Did you wear head guards? Uh, yeah, we had head guards. We had yeah, head yeah. guards, and we did it. But like, <laughs> I just used to get headaches. Yeah, yeah. Like just awfully, and like I couldn't keep going. It was like affecting my work, and I was just like, I can't do this. But like, I tell you what, when you get caught with something, mm. I mean, even these were bigger ounce yeah, yeah. like, in your oh, ribs. you know about it. Yeah, you I know about it. Blood. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's bad. It's bad. We used to go with the the guy who ran it. His lad Gary was semi pro. Mm. But when you turned Sammy up, Gary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you t- when you turned up, uh, Gary would be fighting his and they, and they used to slip him money. He used to get money, uh, cash in, and then he won't fight. He goes, oh, really? What's the weight? Yeah. Oh, he's uh, eleven stone two. What are you? Uh, eleven, eleven, twelve or something. Yeah. Oh, no. But thanks for coming, Gary. Thanks for coming. I never saw him fight in all the fights we went. Come on, you know, I'll be 11 stone, he's 14 stone. Yeah. You know, he's been fighting for 20 years. You'll be all right, Rich. Yeah. Get in there. Get in there. You'll be good. You take a pummel in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One guy I fought at Sheffield was a. Um, Joke. ABA. No, he was an ABA <laughs> finalist. Oh, really? Yeah. That's mad. He, honestly, he punched me. He was, um, again, like being hit by a blinking brick in the mm. face, that mm. was. Mm. I stayed up. Yeah, good lad. Good lad. Yeah, you weathered the storm. I did, yeah, yeah. You didn't get knocked out. No, no. You've been knocked out. No, no. In your day-to-day life, I think I've been knocked out. No, I don't think so. No, no. Not in boxing, just generally, just getting knocked out. No, you've you've never been knocked out. You just like nearly saw your hand off with hedge covers a few times. Yeah, yeah. Shot me, shot some off. You pass out from that. That's good scar. Yeah, you'd see it. That's good scar. I've got one of mine. I did that with a saw when I was fitting out the shop, mm. and then it was gushing blood, and 
I wrapped solid tape around it. <laughs> no way. Finished all my fittings off. <laughs> oh bastard. <laughs> yeah, it's um, back together. You haven't been knocked out, have you? No. No. I've only been punched in the face at Taekwondo and that's it. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> the only time I've ever I must have a punchable face. And the only uh, the only time I've ever been hit at Taekwondo is remember there was an older guy who was punch who was sparring and I just did the same thing that you did. <clears throat> Apart from I was I just walked straight into it. I just I was kicking and I put my head down and you went Oh, you yeah. feel it, you go yeah, black you for a sec. Yeah, you just mm. go black for a sec, you just got me right mm. He didn't mean to, he didn't mean to, but he did He did punch hard, but he was also like a lot older. And it was, like, probably shouldn't have been. Well, no, it was fine, it was Taekwondo. But, yeah. so, but I was, you know, I went to Taekwondo, I was, I was saying this to Joe, I went back, went back to Taekwondo, and uh, I was, I, I, I forgot, I didn't, I, I'm not saying I, forgot how good I was I was just saying that like but I did but <laughs> I was fighting it, but I was fighting some of the you still expected to go back and fight the yellow no, belt but I was you? fighting no I was Fully fighting some of the black belt, belt, yellow and tag. I thought oh, I'll, I'll you know I'll give him a bit of a you know give him hell they're, they're black belt so I went I went you know mm. ease, ease up on them like I do uh, on some of the so I'm not saying I'm sick I'm just saying I'm sick that, yeah, yeah, I'm just, but I didn't realise you know when you start going and I was just I was kicking this guy I'd done a few nice combos kicking this guy and dropping in doing some jabs and doing he goes, a bit of that. whoa whoa whoa, whoa. And I thought, come on you can't do that was he black belt well. yeah he's black belt and I thought he must be about 17 and he was flipping quite stocky and yeah. I was how old were you at this point then how, oh, this was like December. <laughs> <laughs> you were, was okay, belt. fair enough. Like, he was a black belt, but he was also almost 10 years younger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I didn't know him also. No, no. I, did, I, didn't, I didn't know him because I couldn't, I didn't recognise him from before because I've, I've been going on and off for like yeah, the past yeah, year, yeah. year or so. But yeah, like, yeah. I hadn't recognised him, but also the clubs merged with another club. So some of those guys from that other club sometimes train with us. So I don't know mm. what they're like. But it's like, it's really boring also when you're fighting people that should be at a similar level yeah I get you just like when you just like trading mm, stuff is really mm. boring so you want to try some out you, you don't hit them hard or anything like that but you know I was just like this guy just like stopped the fight and was like whoa whoa whoa, whoa calm it mate whoa 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 <laughs> yes. um this has got low battery all right let's call it I need a pee I need a pee as well let's call it uh should we yeah, do the rundown wind up um yeah, yeah. pleasure for having you thanks yeah, thank thank you very much. Yeah. thanks well, for coming yeah. on well, appreciate well, it nice you enjoy it sir appreciate yeah. it yeah. Well, 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 next christmas yeah <laughs> No, no, perhaps you get the top next Christmas. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. If you haven't already seen, because it's been advertised throughout this episode, Wizards Brew coming soon. Lucky Deer, LDT, LTD. Drop some information on it when we've uh, got some retailers sorted and how we're selling it. It'll be online, won't it? It will be online, yeah. Yeah. And um, it'll be in stores. So, yeah, we're just somewhere. Just adding some parts. Make sure to uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell, Chodes. It's been a pleasure. Um, Yeah, we're going to wrap this one up. Episode 8. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Cheers. Cheers, Barry.